Well, we are back. Oh, we're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, oh, <laughs> we got a special, <laughs> special, special guest. Scott Kane is with us. How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm <laughs> honored to be here. This is crazy. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming yeah. by, bro. Dude, thank you for inviting me here. This is an honor. Seriously. Likewise. You know, bootleg, bootleg 3000, you know, a 12 minute video. We'll get into the 12 minute <laughs> video part. You know, it's crazy. You the, know, the, slow the amateur and pro part at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. What you, what's going on? Oh my God, bro. But first of all, you good? Everything, everything's chill? I'm good. Yeah? Golden. Golden? You got you uh, You grew up in Long Beach, but mm -hmm. you're in Huntington now? I'm in Huntington now. Got the fam out there? Yep, yep. The wife and two kids. And nice. I actually grew up in Lakewood, which is right next to Long Beach. Okay. Like across the street, so mm -hmm. I just say Long Beach. Still rep it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That'll be. Mm -hmm. um, so grew up skating out there. Um you know, how did you even get into, I, I feel like we're getting into this too quick, but, uh, God, I want to know, I want to know about Scott Kane from man. the beginning. Yeah. 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 That's what, uh, yeah. How was your childhood? Yeah. <laughs> were you born and raised in Lakewood or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was sick. born in Bellflower, which is right next to Lakewood. Yeah. And then Long Beach. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, skating was a big thing back then. Right. I mean, still is. yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> But I mean, That's why we're here. Yeah, but I mean, to get into it, it was probably all around you, I'm guessing, right, for the most part? It was. I have an older brother who's seven years older than me, and he skated. Oh, wow. So it was around, but just there. Like, I didn't see it, you know, cruising the street or anything. You didn't really see a lot of skaters, right? So okay. my brother who skated, that's how I kind of got into it. Oh, cool. Did you grab, like, his old boards and roll around on them and stuff? When he would let me, okay. <laughs> which, <laughs> which was rare back then, because I'm like, you know, he's... 11 i'm like three or four right so he really wouldn't let me but i would just get the pictures of sitting on the board and trying to roll on my knees or something sure. that was it, yeah yeah and was he like legit into it did he have like a legit board and everything or He's, were they just he did and i had a legit board he had legit homies that would skate they were pretty good too oh, at wow. least from what i remember you know okay. as a kid watching them everybody's good i guess but right right yeah uh so just watching them and and then when my fifth birthday is when my pops brought me home my own board, which was a legit board. It was, okay. It was a Steve Cab, Pal Peralta, like complete. It was a, still one of the old ones. It was 1990, so it was still one of the, the old, wide, big ones. It had a nose, but it was, you know. It was short. Right? Short, yeah. short like little, little yeah. dip, you little know. Nub, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I probably had that thing for five years. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Did it have all the little rails on it and had all the, that? It had yeah. the rails, like orange wheels. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah, it was all... I'll imagine. Wow. So that was your first legit board. And at this time, was your brother still into skating? Would you go skating with them? Yeah, for like a couple of years. And then he, you know, went to high school and kind of mm -hmm. got over it. Okay. I just kept it going. But, you know, he would teach me how to ollie and oh, wow. pressure flip and oh, yeah. things like that. Like that was my first pressure flip with no nose. Off the tail, yeah. Off okay. tail, okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. You don't need a nose for a pressure flip, do you? Well, <laughs> I, I used to pressure flip off my nose. Oh, we turn right. around? Yeah, you turn around, pressure flip off the nose. So then when you Skate land, forward. you're skating uh, forward and you keep going. Uh, I never did that. Yeah. But it was just it, razor it, the it, side of your tail. Yeah, yeah. Razor, right. Razor the side of your tail. Yeah. And then you started like kick clip 5 0 rails and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How did that? I mean, Switch heel front. Yeah, you started time. <laughs> filming for your bootleg part. But no, that took a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Skate Shop sponsor was your first legit. Yeah. I think I got on a local shop. Mm, they started to hook me up. Uh, Furnace came after. I was on a United. If you remember oh, United, yeah. I don't know if they're around anymore. Hmm. I was on for like maybe a year, and then eventually smartened up and went to Furnace. <laughs> sure. yeah. Furnace is a dope shop. Furnace is yeah. just, yeah, 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 shit. yeah, still it. So that must have been awesome. I mean, would they yeah. give you free stuff, or would they give you like discounts? No, I would get boards. Yeah, or break a kingpin, you get another kingpin, yeah. you know, something like that. But okay, yeah. wow. I didn't need much back then. I sure. Know, just some decks. And throughout these years, um, I'm assuming you're just getting better and skating with the homies. Would you film stuff? like? Yeah, yeah. So maybe when I was, I, was, I got my first board when I was five, but, yeah. and I, but I didn't see like my first skate video until I was like 12. So I didn't know they existed. All right. So I had no idea there was this world of skateboarding out there, even though my brother skated by that time. 
you know, he was already doing his own thing. Sure. So I loved skateboarding so much before seeing that. Like I even remember telling my mom, I'm going to be the first professional skateboarder. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. You had no idea. You're skating Steve Caballero's board. <laughs> yeah. but you're I, have no, I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't pay attention. I just rolled out. I didn't, I didn't know it was a Steve Cab until like, you know, you pay attention yeah. to it. You know, yeah, it was yeah. Board. of course. So like going through that, you know, because I knew sports like basketball, baseball. I played that. I knew there was professionals out there and I'm going to be the first one with a skateboard. It's yeah. 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 amazing. And then I saw a skateboard and I was like, oh shit okay this is actually a thing people really do this and fell in love like a hundred times more what video was it some 401 maybe 401 that Four. my buddy had it was like issue 13 wow. no way yeah. sick yep. I, I trip on the people who like watch 411s for their first video oh, part like my first yeah. video that I saw was um, the blind video video days okay that was yep. the first one. Kids nowadays, it's like my first video was an Instagram video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, YouTube video. Yeah. YouTube, yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking crazy. Don't even know which video it was. Mm -hmm. Just some YouTube. Yeah. Well, my yeah. brother tells me now about blind video days. Oh yeah, but he obviously didn't show me back then, so I don't know. That's so funny. He was watching his room. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't let me see it. Oh. <laughs> that was That's, four ones were a cool thing to watch because you saw like a bunch of diverse skateboarders oh, yeah. Yeah. all over the world. You know, they're doing like retrospectives and yeah. a bunch of different people, and then. I think back then, I think Rob G and Montoya, who were from Long Beach, like had, I think it was a Long Beach one. And oh, like, there was Holy one back shit, then. Yeah. Like this is you like recognize this is real the area. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like this is this is really like an actual thing. <laughs> That's when it hits home. It's when you see mm -hmm. it in your backyard. Backyard. Yeah. yeah. Would you see those guys around ever? Yeah. Maybe yeah. after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, and it was you know you see Montoya driving around of a spot you're skating, you see him driving by, and you're like. Yeah, that was Montoya. Like, it's <laughs> super, super hyped, and he just, just, <laughs> <laughs> <don't agree. laughs> was El Dorado back around back then when you started skating? No, because uh, that was like where you kind of grew grew up skating. That's like where things like changed. Early 2000s. Yeah, that was like yeah. I was fifteen, so yeah, it was probably 2000, 2000. 2000. This was gonna say because all your rail footage. I, I'm going to say most of your skating that you learn rail tricks on were on like the rails yep. there. Yep. At El Dorado. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. What was the, what was the rail size there? Oh, it was tiny, tiny, but it was probably, yeah. It was oh, super, so it was like two feet tall. If that. If that <laughs> yeah. Right, maybe. yeah it but, so but it was a little long, like, you know, maybe six, seven feet long okay. and, and little mellow. I guess. Actually, it was kind of a scary rail. If you think about it, it's a low, long rail. Down yeah. bank. Down a bank. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> down like a short <laughs> oh, bank. Not even stairs. No, no, just a bank. Yeah. <laughs> kind of kind of <laughs> sketchy. If you like go there for the first time and try skating, you're like, whoa. Yeah. But the locals, well, you guys. I mean, you know. as an as a as a growing up skater going there, yeah, it'd be probably be scary. But for a fifteen year old kid, it's probably oh, no. this is like a dream come true. <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean we didn't we had skate parks, but nothing like that, or at least with a rail like that. Yeah. That you can jump down and learn stuff what was the first just board slides front boards yeah well, i think i learned like other tricks on smaller park ones okay for the, you know and then bring it to that and learn on the flat bar first okay yeah you know yeah and then you're like oh i got this let's go do it on that so there's a flat bar then the bank girl and and then to a real rail yeah, <laughs> yeah. was was there like videos you were watching that were inspiration to you learning rail tricks at that point or is it no like i mean i you know misled youth and watching like mm -hmm. those videos yeah. those are sick but Honestly, like my favorite skater is Mark Johnson. So oh. it's kind of like, I mean, he jumps down rails, but not like, yeah, yeah like all. that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and then Muska is my other favorite. So he did, you know. Yeah. And I don't know. I just, it just was easier for me for some reason. Yeah. You get on, you get off. You don't have to like sit on it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hard to explain. <laughs> but it's so like, funny. You, you know, you just fling it and. I can't even comprehend and, like being, I'm not a, I'm, <laughs> rails is a. I guess farthest thing from my mind. It's almost, did you discover the art of like getting out of the situation pretty good? Like bailing almost? Yeah, I was really good at bailing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really good. But getting out of you good, like oh, yeah, safely, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, is what yep. I mean. Yeah, really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a skill. You got, yeah, I bailed a lot <laughs> <laughs> and fell a lot. Like I would actually warm up and fall because, you know, you're instantly ready warm to up. go now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, whenever your name gets brought up, um, among other things that you've done, but it's always goes back to, uh, uh, switch heel front nose. <laughs> you get, do you still get that a lot or yeah, yeah. I get DM switch heel front nose. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, it was kind of just this like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah. And that shook, that shook skate industry pretty hard. Yeah. That came out. That was like, what was it? A thunder ad or something? It was a thunder ad. Yeah. It just came out in the magazine and everyone was like, what? Yeah. 
<laughs> and it seemed to be just a regular session, right? You were sessioning it with like Darrell yeah, and a yeah. bunch of the dudes. Darrell, we, we, we lived together at the time. Oh, wow. He was on Real. A bunch of Real dudes came out. I think like Jason Ferris, who I think was team manager at okay. Thunder Spitfire at the time. Were you already, was this bootleg or was this before? <clears throat> this is like right in it. This yeah. is in it. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Maybe like first five, six months being on bootleg or oh, whatever. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. And I had learned it on ledges and switch front no slid like a five stair rail <laughs> that, I was, <laughs> that I was like deathly scared of trying because it's just such a weird thing. I don't know. I just, Pop I learned those. something and then I'm like, all right, I got this. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but... Wait, did I, you do it down the rail at El Dorado first? Hell no. I was going to say, that would be the scariest <laughs> so that's, thing. So that's the one that I did not do on that thing. That's, <laughs> that was that's, yeah, so that's, scary. That's, that's the one trick I did not learn on that rail. I learned it on just some benches. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I had switch front nosed it before that, that the same rail. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you get out there and Gabe Morford's there, Buzinitz is there, Darrell's there, and, you know, Nolly Half Cab 5 would it. I'm like, well, I'll fling this, you know? And I was there for probably three hours trying that shit. Seriously, yeah. three what? hours? Yeah, well, maybe like two. But yeah, still. <laughs> it was a long time. Yeah, sure. That's and, worth it, yeah. And this is back, like, you know, they're still filming cameras. Oh, God. So you, you look on the other side of the rail, and Morford's just Buried. covered in <laughs> <laughs> film. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I just couldn't stop trying. And I landed one, put my hand down, and I was mm. super bummed, but at the same time still hyped. And I was like, oh, I'll give it 10 more. Yeah. And that 10th one. 10th one. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure being around those dudes and then the film. It, yeah. It's, you know, it's, yeah. it's a lot, you know. Well, yeah. He's taking sequence of it. I mean, yeah. That's, uh, I'm surprised he stayed around. To do it. <laughs> That's on the photographer, too. Huh? It's on the photographer. Totally true. I mean, also back then they would get, you know, free film from Trans World or whoever they were working oh, for. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought I wasted a ton of that guy's money. So. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. He but just Trans World. <laughs> barely <laughs> recouped his, uh, yeah. for, the, for the ad. Yeah. yeah. But also, sure, yeah. I also, as a young kid, it's probably like your one, it's like your first chance to get in it, like show these people what you got. Oh, like, yeah. This is your uh, one time. Because some people don't have that opportunity. No, I mean, I mean I, I, my first, the, Joe Krolik, the first dude I ever shot a photo with, that had to beg him to, and it was it was on that same rail doing kickflip no slide. Oh, okay. Or no, I did kickflip front five zero. Yep, yep. Oh, He's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll shoot this one. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, but uh, he ended up shooting. That was my first uh, photo in a mag. He was like skateboarder or something. Oh, okay. And then yeah. Wow. But he like I've skated with him a hundred times. And he's not I'm like, dude, take, let's get a photo. Let's get a photo right? <laughs> without without saying it, you know, sure, without, yeah, without yeah, trying yeah. to be that probably, dude. Carl was probably buying his film though. Yeah, for sure, bro. Oh, <laughs> He's really? getting free DVDs, but yeah, yeah. probably was buying his film. Huh. <laughs> yeah, but if you're not in the magazines yet or doing tricks good enough, yeah. the photographers are like, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Oh, but, yeah. I was the new dude to the crew, too. Like, you yeah. know, we'll wait till you do something, you know. So oh, after, wait, I'll wait till you get close, and then. <laughs> that's a, that, yeah, that's the key. And then, that, so the Kickflip 5.0, that's mm -hmm. what you said did it? Like, after that, he was down to shoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, kick which took me a long time too did it <laughs> no I, I, I fucked my heel up bad so i couldn't walk okay but i couldn't leave without doing it right oh. so and it was my front foot so i was kind of able to bail without stepping on it but i mean you, it's like one of those things where you get on you lock it it's kind of yeah you're good i watch your video parts like like we'll, we'll take bootleg 3000 Right. Mm -hmm. It's 12 minutes of footage. You had 12 minute part, right? You probably had more footage than parts. that. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. I did, yeah. How yeah. many songs? Three songs? It's Mark Johnson shit. <laughs> yeah. But um, seriously. <laughs> Talk about Mark. He likes Mark Johnson. Yeah. 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 But I, I feel, you know, watching it now, I'm like, I, it just looks easy for you. You know, it, it, I don't know, like, Listen, when you watch a video, sure, it's just, it's the makes, right? Mm -hmm. But for some reason, mm -hmm. for you, it just looked like you were kind of nonchalantly going about it. it. Maybe it was your style or the way that you were doing it, but it, it looked easy, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, 12 minutes of footage, it probably is easy <laughs> for him. I mean, I filmed my entire life for that video, right? Did you say <laughs> that? <laughs> but, but, I mean, there was, there was a point from like, you know, 17 to 19 where... It kind of was easy. Clicked? You know, like everything was working and I felt invincible. How <laughs> like, crazy is like that? Like everything works. Like you get in the zone where you just get win after win after win and you, you know, you start believing in yourself that you can do anything. And, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you would skate the, the rail, like the Silmar rail a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you would skate the other rail. What's, it's a, what's a rail that, um, it's kind of in the hallway of the school. 
Is it Redondo? It was Redondo and then Sunland Rail. He did a bunch of tricks on rail. Sunland, too. yeah, that's that's probably one. So of them. you would go back to these same rails as well. <laughs> so you would get used to that. Westchester Rail? Westchester Rail. Oh, Westchester. Westchester, yeah. 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 That rail scared the shit out of me, dude. Seriously? You had so many fucking tricks I on know, it. I know, but the first trick I ever did on that rail was back nose blunt. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, okay. I, was, you know, I know, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I was so scared of that rail. I wouldn't board slide it. I think I tried to bail Ollie the stairs. But then, you know, after landing that, I was like, oh, okay, I can skate this rail. <laughs> so it took the land to. Yeah, get I was like shook of that rail. Why? I don't know. It's just something about yeah, it. I mean, it's it's kind of a weird and it's kind of a weird rail. I don't so know. That's true. Yeah. So, so you're saying in those three years, it just something just clicked, and you were just mm-hmm. kind of on fire. You would go to these and just get footage. <laughs> well, and I had Darrell with me every day too, who's like, you know, we're kind of battling each other oh, in a good way, right? Sure, like, sure. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got this. I got this. But then you get in that zone where everything works, and you're fucking <laughs> back over crooking Hollywood rail and <laughs> shit. That was a fun one. What was it like for me? Like, oh, I got like. Yeah, Hollywood. doing it on little rails, but then you know, Ho Hollywood Twelve, like oh, it was yeah. a big thing. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. So filming for the, I, I know we just jumped ahead, but since we're still on it, the the bootleg video, mm-hmm. how long were you actually filming for that for? A couple years. A couple but of years. I, but I think it was just a kind of a collective of pre being sponsored and then getting on mm-hmm. and then going on some tours and adding some stuff to it. Okay, so just kind of a hodgepodge of different yeah. filmers and uh, yeah, yeah. All, 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 all around. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. right. Who would we, you film with back then? Uh, with Barry. Barry. John Barry um, is the first dude like would actually film me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> but there's kind of like, you had a big crew back then that kind of all grew up together, like doing it. Huh? I, well, I kind of had to like swindle my way in there. You oh, know? yeah. Because uh, back then, like my buddy Boosh. Um, oh, Boosh. everyone knows Boosh. Boosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Boosh, we grew up Boosh together, Carl. right? Yeah. He lived across the street from me. So. He would, my stepdad had this VHS one that you hold up here, right? So he would follow me around and like skate three stairs and shit. But, <laughs> but then, then I met a couple of people that were older than me that went to the same school who skated, who were like really, really good. At least in my eyes were really, sure. really good. So I try to like sneak out the spot because back then nobody has cars, you know, you know where all the spots are by your house. Right. You go there and then we'd put a shopping cart rail down a dock. Oh. And I, I tried to like crook grind it. And then that's how I started filming. And then, then, with we, Boosh, then with it was like, oh, come skate with us tomorrow. I was like, all right, cool. Like, how old were you then? Like 14, 14 maybe, yeah, something like that? Yeah. Huh. So you, you went from Furnace, you got on Furnace, getting mm-hmm. free stuff from them. And then any any board sponsor in between that and, and Bootleg? And maybe Flow or anything? There's a company called Monkey Sticks. Monkey oh, Sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So my buddy Curtis skated for him. Okay. And I don't Curtis know. Curtis Calamonico? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I got on. I don't know if he just said, hey, put him on or something. Sure. So, yeah, there was that for a while. <laughs> was it like the actual board company or just the group team? Yeah, it was the actual boards. I okay. think Enrique Lorenzo was yeah. on at the yeah, same time that. or something like right. that. Was yeah. Tony Tabe on there too? I don't remember Tabe. I, I think he, he was on there. Maybe yeah. it wasn't the time you were on. Yeah, maybe though. it was back before. Yeah. And then Grant Patterson was on. That's Grant. how I met oh. him. He came out to Long Beach Day with us. I, I don't know. It was like a weird thing. I didn't know. I just got boards. Like, mm-hmm. that was it. There wasn't something like set in stone. No. It's like no. you're on the team, your flow, oh, like, yeah, whatever. like, oh, cool boards. And then I think I was, I had got a job at a pizza spot trying to save money to buy a car or something. Okay. And got on monkey stick somehow. And then they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to Spain. I was like, okay. Quit the job. We got a passport. And then we never went. Oh. But but I had saved up enough money to buy a car by that point. Because did, did Monkey Sticks, did it start as a board cut and then turn into grip tape? Or how, I think it was what? grip tape first. Grip tape yeah. first. Yeah. Board. Okay, that makes like, sense. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was short-lived, though, I feel like. Yeah, it was kind of like... It was kind of... Because it was called Monkey Business originally, I think. Yeah. That's what it was. It had like... Yes. That's what it was. Monkey grip, monkey nuts. It yeah. had like all Everything, yeah. the hardware type of stuff. Yep. Yeah. And then they made the boards and then... Oh, it was kind of, yeah. Had the monkeys on the grip tape, right? And yeah. then I got on and it went out of business. And- <laughs> <laughs> so when Monkey Sticks went out, how'd you even get on bootleg? How did, the, did that even come about? Well, I was skating with Long Neck Dave, or Curtis and Jason Jones, and all these dudes were skating with this dude, Dave, mm. called Long Neck, Long Neck Dave. Long yeah. Neck Dave. Yeah. Okay. He had a VX, and I swindled my way into that somehow and went to the... Um, skate that day and i had gotten a trick so i kind of earned myself in the spot like really <laughs> yeah. okay yeah i think we went to 
Burbank school somewhere. Like Highland Park has the H stair rail. Reynolds tray flip knows it or something. Uh, Janowski does a switch flip on the long double set there. Mm. Oh, the rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got the double the double set and yeah. then yeah, and then the rail right there. Mm. And they yeah. got a Nolly Hill nose on that and split my way into the van. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's, That's kind of what how yeah, it's how it was back then. Yeah. You yeah. go in front of the right dude, do a trick, and they're like, "All right, cool, you can sure. do it." So, yeah. if you don't get tricks, you're not coming again. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Don't waste our time. Yeah. <laughs> so, no so this not even a sponsor me tape. Just kind of in the van. So I started collecting footage, mm. you know, legit VX footage. Everything else before that was hiatus or the bush of the, the, boot, the dad <laughs> <band. Yeah. laughs> collected footage. And and somewhere down the line, my I had made a sponsor tape and it got to Anthony Mosley. Oh, and at least this is what I'm told. Sure, it got to him. Hey, we gave your tape to Mosley. Mosley gave it to Strickland, and then that's. Like, all right. And then I get a call from Strickland. It's like, hey, you want some boards? Whatever. And, and it also helped that I grew up with Evan, Terry, Knox, like all those dudes. It was kind of... Right. Kind of, yeah, yeah, you know, put in the word as well, so... Yeah. You skated a lot with Evan Hernandez. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, when he was filming for his transfer part. Oh, sick. Yeah. Damn, that kid Smuggled my way in the yeah. van on that one. Wow. <laughs> Wait, did you, did you have a trick in his part? I did, yeah. Oh, what trick did you have? Oh, man. I think it was back nose blunt, Silmar. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Damn. Damn. So you get on bootleg. Was it just kind of a trial or just getting yeah, boards? And were, then yeah. they're like, like oh, we're, we'll film for a video now. No, and I was like, yo, here's some boards. Um, basically, try to get a trick we can do an ad for. Oh, seriously? So I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. You know? And then that's when I had back nose blunted Manchester rail. And that was my first ad. That's what the first yeah. trick you did. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That was your first, that was the first bootleg ad. I think so. Yeah. At least that was the one he was like, all right, you're, you're on, you know? Wow. And that all the footage or a lot of the footage you had going into the bootleg video was already sponsor me tape that you would send to them. Some of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some of it. So that was a long process filming. For well, I, it was, I mean, I had a lot of footage like, you know, even after bootleg, I had footage that went to my four in one part. So it was yeah. like all that was Don't together. Reduce, yeah. yeah. How much footage did you have, bro? A lot, man. I, I mean, the three years were unstoppable. I know, but did three these... years, I get like two clips. Well, I, all I did was skate. <laughs> that's, like, that's all I did. Right. Yeah. Right. It was like, because I had met him around that same time, me and Scott, but like, it was just every every weekend for sure. You guys would yeah. hop in that van, oh, yeah, yeah. Dave's van. He had that fucking mom <laughs> fucking his grandpa's or his yeah, dad's yeah, van. Yeah, yeah, super yeah, yeah. And he had the the eight ball on the steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the little uh, where the you hold on to yeah. it. That's how you knew it was like his dad's or grandpa's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, dude, these guys were getting tricks like two or three tricks a day. I felt like going I mean, out. We had a big crew too. That would go yeah, out. and it was it was kind of methodical too. Like, well, I mean, you bring me to a realm, I'm gonna try and get a trick, but. You know, there was always something that we wanted to do. I don't yeah. know, I guess. And plus all those dudes all, as well were skating r- rails and stuff too. So you Yeah, were... Jason liked to jump down the big ones. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Curtis got a little techie on some smaller ones, but Scott Christensen, he would he would dabble. He sometimes. would hug. He was yeah, I I watched him back fifty that seventeen that like he did something like front boarded or something. Oh and that was, I hid behind <laughs> The one of the bungalows because I didn't want to watch it. But he like, <laughs> oh, you because skate- he didn't like skate rails like that. Like he would skate like you know eight stairs or whatever, but or ten stairs. But this is a big seventeen stair rail, like skinny square and back fifty to like. <laughs> But he did. That was crazy. I like it. You're behind a bungalow. Oh, you yeah. don't want to watch, but you're still watching. I like, you're, you're like peeking out of the I didn't court. watch the first two. No, you. Okay. No, and then and then I think he did it in like four or five tries. Were you the other night, Jason Jones, with the board slide? I wasn't there. No, no. Mm. (laughs) We just talked about Jason. I've heard many many stories about that night. Yeah, because I was that was the first night I met him, and I'm like, this kid is going to board. He's going to (laughs) die. And I went back to the van. I'm like, I'm not filming him die. Fuck that. (laughs) Jason Hockey. And he fucking like came back like a good hour and a half later. Like I hear, yeah. I'm like, no way. That fucking kid did. (laughs) And you were in the van. I was in the van the entire time. Who filmed it? Uh, Dave, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Long neck day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, long oh. neck, dude. Crazy. Yeah. Raj left. He didn't want to watch it. I just it. met the kid. I'm like, I'm not going to film him die. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> That's a big rail. That rail fuck. was is fucking massive. I've mm-hmm. never seen it, but I've heard. It's it big. It's fucked. Yeah. yeah. It's like tall. It's like when you're walking up and you're like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Like yeah. tall stuff? Fuck. It's fucking tall. What was the biggest rail you, you've done? Franklin 18. And I was 
scared as shit. <laughs> Frankly, <laughs> yeah. which, which one is that? That's uh, uh, Evan Hernandez front boarded. Jeff Raleigh's Ollie did. Oh, Ollie did. Yeah, Ollie did. What Shane Arno. tried to switch flip it and like just totally ate shit. I think yeah, uh, Shane Cross nose grinded or something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, Raleigh starts off his line in flip. Okay. He barely heel yeah, flips yeah, yeah. it, and I think it comes around and lip slides the rail. Is that what he does? I think Ed Templeton did that too. Hmm. It's a tall I think he lip slid it too, right? but yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, see, it's it's whatever really it was. Tall. But yeah, there's uh, the big rail there. Yeah. But yeah. you weren't necessarily like, you didn't jump on the big rails. Right, uh, right. No. You got tech on the kind of bigger <laughs> rails. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, like was, yeah. the 10s or the 11s, you know? I tell you, I like to get on and get off. <laughs> yeah. right? I'm not holding it. Like, <laughs> but like uh, the two big rails, the 17 and 18, they were both feebles because that's something you can like, for me, like you could sit and lock in. Oh, you know? interesting. And if you're not, you don't do it in two tries, it's not trying that. You're again. not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Huh. Yeah, you would. Uh, did you have a cutoff point for a rail? Like uh, if it was too steep or too many stairs? or Because, you know, like you said, get off, get on. I mean, get on, mm. get off. I don't know. I just had those go tos like Somar and mm. Sunland. They were. Somar's a little steeper. Sunland was a little more mellow, but. Sure. Right. I like. I liked round rail. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I liked yeah. rails. Yeah. 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 Well, you're yeah. good at them. Was there like a random trick that kind of got away that like you tried that got away? There's a couple. Is there any like specific ones that like, cause you threw out ran switch heel front nose back then. That sure. was fucking insane. But like, yeah. was there another trick like that? That kind of never came, never got landed. It's kind of a weird trick with like a barrel flip nose slide. Oh shit! <laughs> What'd you try it? On? I almost did it on that that Burbank grill that I was talking about the eight stair. Oh wow! That's actually what I tried first. Tried switch heel front nose on that one. Oh, and oh. I'd almost done it, but landed and did the split and and messed my knee up. Okay, so I was gonna go back and do it, and that's probably why we went to the other rail that day. That's why I tried it. I was oh. like, oh, I'll just try it on this one, and that one worked. Would wow. you say varial flip or <laughs> nose slide? Kickflip yeah. shove it. Kickflip shove yeah. it, nose slide. It was, a, it was a weird trick, but I was somehow doing it on ledges. I was huh. like, oh, I'll try this. And I slid a couple, yeah. And, yeah, then, I, an and then I one. stepped on the bottom stair, and you, know, you do that on your... Oh, oh yeah. man. Hot so, uh, pocket. Yeah. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah. So you're filming now what is going to become Baker... I mean, I'm sorry, I always say Baker. Bootleg 3000 video. Mm -hmm. Did you know you were filming for a video at this point? Or were you just yeah. kind of filming? Yeah, there yeah, was I mean, kind of the talks about it. We were on tour just trying to get flat. I think we were doing like demos and stuff, but there were, we knew we were doing a video. Mm -hmm. I think everybody had, even bef before like everybody getting on, I think people had footage that they were ready to do something. So it kind of worked out that way. Right, yeah. right. Would you go on tour with like Alyssa and everybody? Uh -huh, yeah. It's amazing. Alyssa, Pete, all those. Yeah, yeah Pete Eldridge. Mm -hmm. Mark wow. Brandstetter. Wow. Brandstetter, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What a cool little squad. It man. was. It was. It was Dude, a, Ryan nice. Nix. Ryan oh, Nix. Ryan oh, yeah. What happened to that kid? I saw him in Florida a couple years ago. Right? He's in Dude, Tampa. He was so good. Yeah, he's super good. Yeah, he's from Florida. Yeah. Hmm. Saw him at Tampa Pro, I think. So Baker, I mean. <laughs> Dude, that video. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying <laughs> yeah. it. Because Baker bootlegged like, the whole thing. I yeah, keep saying yeah, yeah. it. But um, that was like a lot of people grew up on that video. Seriously? Specifically, yeah. 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 Like you, I feel like you and Pete, that was like. That was everyone's shit. Everyone was just like you two. Uh, Pete, the Pete part was fucking unreal. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Oh, yeah. He had last part, right? Hit last part. Last part. Yeah. You had what? Second to last part? I think so. How was it skating with him back then? Because you guys, actually, he got kind of tech on bigger, a little, some rails too. He was so good at doing everything that I couldn't do. Like, yeah. like he could do every trick. I don't know. He was like a big brother to me too. Like mm -hmm. going on those trips and someone to look up to and. But he he was so good and such massive pop. <laughs> He'd look good on his board. His clean style, yeah. Seriously, Still great does. dude. Also, oh, awesome. I used to be scared of him. He kind oh, of had yeah. that little intimidating yeah. look a little bit, you know. I still am. I'm still. <laughs> <intimidating>. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I think he I'm tried to give me a little like you know new guy on the team, you know, yeah, something little, like that. But right. yeah, cool dude though. Oh, Amazing awesome. dude. Yeah. Love that guy. Talked to him for hours. Such a good dude. What about Anthony Mosley? Did you skate with him a bunch? Oh, he hooked you up, kind of, did you? Yeah, yeah. So we that's the only, only person I knew at that time. And we would go skate, and he was there at the Manchester back nose blend. And then it was the first dude I went on a plane with to, to go on a trip. Like, yeah, I mean, we were, we were pretty tight. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you, where were you going? We went to Slam City Jam. Slam City Jam. <laughs> like 2001 or something. Oh, 2002. Wow. <laughs> you and Anthony I Mosley. Just, it's like, all right, let's go. You know, I'd already had my passport from the Spain trip that didn't happen. So I was like, all right, you know, 
You didn't. You weren't. You you didn't do contests. Though. No, you no. Contest, I was just like, I'll go, and I think I hung out with Mosley for the first night, and then ended up hanging out with all the city star dudes after like just the rest of the trip. <laughs> that's that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. sick. P Rod, all those dudes. P Rod, Spanky, yeah, Spanky, yeah. So boot ba- uh <laughs> Yeah, you're you right. You had it right. I, know, I, know, I corrected myself. It's <laughs> fucked. So bootleg 3000, first video you were in. Mm-hmm. What a video to be in, Jesus. And the what was Barry, the Barry video, was that before? No, that was after. That was after. We okay. had a bunch of like four We did or five logic home. and stuff, right? You did a logic stuff. I think stuff. I shared, like a, had some extra footage and shared a part with Jeremiah Vance. You guys remember that? Dude. Yeah. Had a what? hair? So he was one of, he was part of our, one of a, one of our crew. Yeah. All these names yeah. Yeah. that I haven't heard in 10, 15 years. Yeah. What happened? I heard he, is he like a some sort of like an MMA fighter or yeah, something he's now? Killing it. That's man. so sick. Really? Dude. Yeah, he's he's like getting mentioned on Joe Rogan's podcast. No and, way. Yeah, like he's crazy good at what Damn. he does. That's awesome, dude. It's fucking tight. Yeah. Let's get him in the chair. I know. Yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> dance. Wow. Yeah. Break out of the skateboard bubble here. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. You went into that video am. No. Or you turned pro during filming for it, I or think when so. it? Well, yeah, the beginning I think was probably so. was amateur then. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Pro. Yeah. What was that? Was that a discussion? Uh, turning pro. It was kind of like we're gonna turn you pro. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. You're like, oh, I said, cool, discussion. cool. <laughs> yeah. No party. No, yeah. no surprise. Yeah. I mean, some people are like, don't do it. You know, you're young and whatever. But I'm like, yeah, I worked my whole life for this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were there any companies trying to steal you off bootleg? There was a, there was a couple. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Are you? Gonna... I mean, it wasn't like who showed interest. Well, there the legend says, <laughs> the legend. <laughs> like if bootleg ever went out, then it would have been on flip. Right. Wow. But I think at the, by the time Bootleg went out and things were changing, and that, I mean, that's just what I was told. Okay. So, I mean, then, that's an honor yeah. to even be and in that. Because you were s- skating, like you were skating for Vans, but I saw some footage of you skating with Rowley a bunch. Yeah, yeah. So maybe he's oh, putting yeah. in that word. But yeah, I mean, and then Ian Deacon and Jeremy Fox and all those dudes, like they helped me out in the beginning a ton. Yeah. How had they help you out? I negotiated some contracts. Oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. rad. Yeah, it's Took care of your Worked deal? out. Worked out, yeah. Oh, yeah you, were, you were, yeah, you were on bands. Early on, you were on bands. Yeah. Well, uh, TK was on at the time. Oh, Evan was on at oh, the yeah. time. Right. I think Darrell had ended up getting on around the same time. And and I had went on a random Mexico Vans trip. And by the time I got back, they're like, oh, you know, we want to put you on and get you a check or whatever. So I got a contract. Okay. And I was going on a bootleg tour to Europe. And I think Strickland had gave it to Ian Deacon out there, and he switched it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to. Better, you have you know? to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, sometimes I those contracts are one-sided. Yeah, you know? I, I didn't. I just said, here you go. Yeah. So, you know, I don't yeah. Know. Well, you're a kid. A lot of these companies, and this isn't Vans or to anybody. This is just kind of in general. It's mm-hmm. like you're a kid. They give you a piece of paper. You just sign it. Yeah. You know, in real life you're supposed to have lawyers look at it and everything yeah. it's contract yeah you know well i mean and there was a, a dinner that i had with rally and strickland i think it was to get on his xlt program okay. it was like me oh, bastion yeah. and rally <laughs> wow <laughs> wow it was, it was like a i was like all right you know i'll go to dinner and that, that was sick <laughs> are you like at this point in time are you tripping like uh, what's going on here you were I as am. a kid trying to get in the van and yeah. get a clip and yeah. now you're being talked about in the same sentence as Rowley <laughs> getting on his XLT. Yeah, like I was, but at the same time I wasn't. I just I was just going with it. You're just going like, with the this, flow. This is happening. This is awesome. And you, know, you were just, just more focused on skating. Yeah, that's that's all, all I, you wanted to do. All I cared about. Yeah, I would have to, taken a step back. I mean, what are you? The sixteen now? Seventeen? I'm seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. Damn. Eighteen? Maybe Holy 17, 18. Shit. <laughs> and wait, what year did you turn pro? I was seventeen. Seventeen. 17. Yeah. Damn, everything was just going from like 16 to 17 was like a complete 180 yeah you started when you skating when you was five though yeah I wow did. i mean i didn't like <laughs> fully i mean i had the same board for five years yeah. <laughs> i even yeah. by the time you know but you got your balance <laughs> yeah well you i guess you saved all your footage and everything and you came out with a switch heel front nose which yeah. kind of was like a viral thing in the, it, our day and age sure. growing up was the viral thing like i said every yeah. in the same breath yeah. scott kane Switch switch heel front nose. Yeah. Still, I don't think anyone's really even done that. On, oh, it's how an awkward many, trick. How, how many? Like, oh, no, no, rail. Like, yeah. Wait, what was it on? Like a nine or a ten stair? 
I think it was a 10 stair. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It's a solid tent stair rail, yeah. But that was a fr- <laughs> that was a random rail too. I'd never seen that rail before. It's like the random rail we found, like mm. in the hood, and we called it Ghetto Rail. Oh, Ghetto Rail, like, appropriate name. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was sketchy. I they feel like there's a couple of rails out there. Call it Ghetto Rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ghetto Rail, Ghetto Banks. Yeah. yeah, we were there one time, and Scott Christensen was there, and he, I think he had on like those DC Stevies. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Those sick, like puffy big ones. ones. Yeah, puffy ones. <laughs> And the dude in a, ro- a wheelchair rolled up, and he's like, "Man, those shoes are gonna look good in my outfit tomorrow." Like, so it was like one of those spots oh, where you're wow. like, "Let's try to go on the weekend, go early, you know, <laughs> get it, get out." And yeah, here you are. I think they it. ended up like sawing that rail in half, oh, too. so they? you couldn't skate it. They like cut out the middle of it. Yeah, it was yeah. the first time. It's like yeah. one of those things when you saw, you're like, "This trick's insane," and where's that rail? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a perfect. Yeah. Rail, yeah, and you just destroyed it the first time anyone <laughs> saw it. I was insane. Had to shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that you did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Where's that rail at? I want to five zero it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Seriously. <laughs> yeah. So you're 17 years old, turning pro. I mean, shit's going well. Vans, yeah. bootleg, and I, then, and then the bootleg 3000 video drops. Did that just change? your life kind of i mean now you're on the map dude like people yeah. know your name they know all about you yeah, yeah was there like a yeah. turning point where uh, you that's felt what i'm saying like, like i don't i don't i don't think so no I th- it's, it's just weird like i just skated that's all i cared about i didn't care about you know the rest of the stuff like even with the contracts like go ahead like you know my, the money wasn't like a motivating factor for me to go skate or get, right. get tricks you know yeah, you weren't much of like a you didn't really show off the, what you were making or anything, huh? You kind of didn't uh, party that hard at all? Oh, I partied. You partied? Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you always kind of, you carry the same personality throughout the whole time, I felt like. I'm very introverted. I have, mm. like, people that say I'm an asshole because I just, I'm emotionless. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I have emotions inside. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't show them. Like, I don't, you know. You don't express them that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm more of, like. I don't like to shoot the shit. Like, I like deep conversations. With, you know, let's talk, you know? Right, yeah, right, right. I don't like the, hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> meaningless conversation. Yeah. Small talk. Sure. Like, do you really give a shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm kind of, I'm the same way though. You know, yeah. we're in the same vibe. Yeah. But, you know, even in the video parts, like I said, r- really mellow. I think that carried into your skating as well. Because mm-hmm. of super mellow, sick style, kind of just stone face like you just were skate you just were hitting those rails it was just going after the goal going yeah <laughs> yeah i always trip out i would see you so calm and then you was like the one clip where there was like a dude behind you in the window oh and yeah and like <laughs> and you're like trying to give him crook and you're kind of like fuck yeah oh uh, like you just do give him yeah. crook yeah. like, <laughs> like that's just so a, a calm way of going about it that doesn't really exist <laughs> i don't know well there was that music going off like every 30 seconds that they had on repeat and it's oh, the that was same like Philly, right? thing yeah, yeah. oh what spectrum. do you mean it had uh there was a it was, it was at like, the stadium it was at the stadium and it just had this music like on repeat so every 30 seconds it would go off and it sounded like some clown music or something so it was really <laughs> really annoying right and that's getting in your head so i'm about to go to... like throw my board down and ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. didn't ryan g like uh, miss the sequence or something like that because his battery died Said the batteries died yeah. i don't know damn missed the sequence g come oh on, yeah g g back g. up battery bro <laughs> <laughs> wow that's so funny man that's uh yeah but that's i yeah i could see it in your skating you just were just kind of focused and just yeah. kind of did your thing did my thing yeah pretty much <laughs> Crazy, man. i was gonna ask how you got hooked up with vans vans like uh through TK, and then I knew one of the designers there that skated Eldo a lot, Nate, um, and just started flowing me, oh, okay. me up, bringing shoes to the park. Yeah, that's pretty much how. Oh, you were on like Homie Flow. Homie like Flow, bro, yeah. Bro flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And then, I don't know. And then I also got on Blue League first, and then it was like from Flow to, all right, let's hook them up, and bring yeah, them on that, a trip. It was and, kind of the path back then, right? <clears throat> you, had to, you had to have the board sponsor to get the shoe sponsor. Well, actually, actually what happened, I was... Dave Huang was working for Etnies too at the time and nothing was happening with Vans. So I was like, yeah, hook me up, you know, like, mm. so I actually got the switch heel nose in Etnies. Oh. Um, but then I think they found out and that's when they started to. Take you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that should have been in some fucking band shoes. You should have had the stripe on in that <laughs> clip. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Was there a shoe that you skated like Vans? Like which, which one did you skate the most, you think? Rally ones and half cabs. Half cabs. Half cabs. Yeah. Half That's cabs. right. 
With yeah. like the XLT, right? That was the Rowley's thing. Yeah, and then I started, yeah. I just get some of those. That was like a while. tough sold stuff, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't think know. so. Something like that. He just got the shoes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like, sure, dude. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been a trip skating with all those Baker dudes, man. TK, Evan Hernandez. Mm -hmm. like, I, I, were you a, did you skate Cherry a bunch? I did. Like, not like every day like they did. but Because they were there all the time. I mean, that's time. how I met them going there. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were there you know, all the time. But you but guys. Then, when Eldo, uh, when they built El Dorado Skate Park, that's when we kind of all came together. Because that was like the only park uh, that was in the middle of us i'm surprised you didn't get more tricks on the the down the uh, table at cherry did you have did you film stuff i there? had a couple but nothing yeah yeah, yeah. toyo yeah. would chain it up to make sure no one else skated. <laughs> 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 it was probably all high footage too so they're like yeah uh and you didn't see you didn't feel anything uh any effect from the bootleg video like I, you I, mean, I, I mean i mean yeah, i knew, I mean, I knew. yeah i knew like 17 yeah, years yeah. old yeah i mean you start getting calls to do other things like right yeah, you know you get recognized yeah, out in yeah, the streets yeah, and so it yeah. did have an effect yeah. but i take it you were just kind of like whatever like let's said, skate I'm, I'm introverted i don't like like signing autographs it, it's awesome to do that kind of stuff but for me it was just like do you really know who i am do you sure. give a shit like right so I, and I now I should have embraced that a ton more. Okay, right? You know, and, but would you ask like the kid like, "What's my name?" I, no, but like <laughs> I, I did, I did a couple of times. Okay, but some people would like you know, bring the magazines and be like, "All right, sick." Like, let's do yeah, fans, yeah. yeah, totally, yeah. But it, it is uh, some when you're at an autograph signing. I yeah. feel like half the kids don't even know no. who you are. No. You know, it's like if you if you got up and walked away. Didn't even matter. I would yeah. start printing my name on posters because I feel like they didn't even know who I was. Oh, yeah. I switched it up a lot. Did you? <laughs> and I printed it a lot too, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. They, they have all these scribbles on a, on a poster. They don't know who anybody is. Yeah. So I'm, now they can see my name yeah. printed. Yeah. They can take so, notice. Sometimes, though, if you get the kid, he gets super into skating and he looks back six months and he's in the skating. He's like, dude, I got Scott Kane. Like, yeah. That, you is, know, that, yeah. that does happen for yeah. sure. They don't yeah. realize what they're getting until they look into it more. Maybe uh, the autograph line should have like little TVs every like 15 feet where it's just kind of describing who you're going to meet today. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> or, or just like, have a little background. Give a little video yeah. bro, like yeah. profiles to see who's like in that. Right. Or just a, a fucking nameplate on, yeah. the, on the front of the Bring table. Bring one next time. A little nameplate? Yeah, no, we, we now, have the crop ones. Now you can just put at... Chris yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, sign it with an at. <laughs> See, I, I'm pre YouTube, pre Instagram. Like, yeah, you know, none of that was around. Then. Could oh, you yeah. imagine yeah. if Instagram and these platforms were around when you were coming up and doing bootleg shit? Dude, I, you, you, I don't I, necessarily know if I would have done it. I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think I would have done it. Yeah, because even when we talk about all the time when Instagram first came out, it was weird to even post yourself. Oh yeah, you know. And now, so even back then, yeah. it would have been fucking. I think Terry weird. Kennedy's would have been the funniest back then. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Was there any talk of switching from bootleg to Baker? No. Well, at the very beginning, I mean, this was just me talking to Evan, Terry, and Knox. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it's your choice, Baker or bootleg. What do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know if this is the actual deal, right? Okay. But I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to choose. Like, whatever, you know. I don't think it was an actual thing. I, as friends, they were as saying friends, it. Right, like, right, right. Yeah, hey, it's your choice. What do you want to do? What do you okay. want to do? And I'm like, I don't know. They really had your back. Yeah, they hooked it up. They That's sick. Up. What happened to Evan Hernandez? Is he still skating? Do you ever talk to him? No, I don't really talk really? to him. No. He ripped, man. He's still good. I'm sure he's still good. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm, sure you're, we, I'm sure you're still good, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Is you, no, you came out. You, you, you did a part. Um, I mean, it, it was a little while ago, maybe in 2014. You came out with another part. Yeah. For, uh, it was something. I forget what it was. Like, just, uh, just filming with the homie. I was filming with Brandstetter. He oh. moved, he moved to Long Beach and I was like, oh, I'll start skating and yeah. rolling around again and do some stuff. I felt like nothing had changed. Like your style was still the same. Like everything, like you just literally like grew a little bit and you're, <laughs> you're, you're still the same steez, the same style, like just no rails. <laughs> no, no, that's no more real. But still, you did not nolly and word, no slides on yeah. ledges and shit. I was like, yeah. dude, this guy, dude, guy is just so fucking good. Do you have no desires to get a real? Oh, I wish, man. I I have mental blocks for that now. Oh, right? you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I have like PTSD. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> or, or just or? An ankle injuries. Like I can't. Like I used to be able to visualize what I want to do. 
Mm. Like how Mark Johnson said, and I think Modest. Yeah, like that's yeah, yeah. what might have clicked it for me. Okay, yeah. if you can see it, you can do you it. Can right? Do it right. So that's how I did things. I just close my eyes and picture it, and and then just see myself doing it. Wow. But now I see myself as rolling my ankles. Rolling. <laughs> 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 so so I, you're like, <laughs> like I, I've rolled it so many times, and it it you know, and then ended up getting surgery, and and just never the same. So yeah, just mental blocks from, I. I, st- I still think I could. Yeah. But you could, bro. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. What would you try if you were going to try a trick right now? Like, oh, yeah. The perfect yeah, like, seven, eight stair rail. Perfect. If it was square, probably not like inward heel front nose. <laughs> just because. <laughs> what? That'd be sick. Just because. <laughs> I like be that. Yeah. You can kind of bail from it and kick it out and okay. you know, kind of flings into it. I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. that. If, I, if I really wanted to, like, you yeah, know, yeah, do yeah, get yeah. a sure, hammer. Sure, get sure. a hammer. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That would be. Fucking tight. <laughs> yeah. If Not that wasn't working right. that day, what would the next option be? Switch back Smith or something. I, Switch back Smith. I just love the way that feels. Where, so where do you skate now usually? Flat ground. Flat ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Eldo every once in a while. Oh, yeah. and, nice. and then I have the, the OG manual pad that's right next to my house that a bunch of people skated back in the day. I don't know. Like, long, short. Low manual pad. Hmm. Yeah. Which one? Oh, I'm trying to think of what, what it could oh, be. Is it a curve? It's next to a wall. Next to a wall. Oh, yeah. Brad Hayes. Yeah. Brad yeah. Hayes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the curve one. Yeah. It's so it's park. like right down the street yeah. from my house. Now. Oh, sick. So, so I'll go there and get a nose manual or something. Do you ever skate with Brad Hayes a lot? No, but I've seen him there actually. Oh, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> like a couple months ago. He's rad. Sick. He's oh so God. good. I used to be the biggest Brad Hayes fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Baker 2G. Baker 2G. Throwing his chain in the fucking. So my favorite video was best of. Uh, the four on one volume four. Yeah. Uh, Mark Johnson, Jerry Sue, Brad Hayes, Andrew Reynolds, Jim Greco. Oh, wow. Like, so like, those are the people I idolized. That was just combined into one video. In, in I was never a four on one guy. I never oh, really watched four on ones. No? I uh-huh. did, but not as, you know, not like Kelly yeah. memorized everything. That was the best. Trick. The best of four on ones were like the best yes. dudes all together. Yeah. It didn't matter what team they were on. Yep. You got to see the illest yep. dudes from all angles. Right. And Bush yes. has Bush had the subscription, so we would just... I feel like Bush played a major part in your uh, come up. He had dad cam, subscription to four on one. I had a major part in his come up. <laughs> 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 Wait, how did he get that name Boosh? From Barry. He had, so Mike V lived down the street from us, like a couple blocks away, and he would hook us up and he'd give Boosh these, you know, Mike V Etnies that were size 12, and he wore like, <laughs> he wore like eights, you know? <laughs> so, so he would wear these things, and Barry would call everybody Boosh. Or he would call everybody Boosh, but he would call Boosh Kevin. Boosh Clown. <laughs> so, that's, so that's the full name is Boosh Clown. Boosh yeah, Clown. yeah. So that's how, yeah, that's how his name. <laughs> so it's a, he called everybody Boosh, but Boosh Clown, and then it stuck for him. Yeah. Yeah. It, it fits him really well, actually. Yeah. He, it's a he, good nickname. He ran with it. It's a good nickname. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if he was just Kevin. Kevin Birch. Kevin yeah. Birch. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, Boosh. Oh, that did, nickname suited him. Didn't we try to guess his name a while ago? Yeah, we were like, that's <laughs> <laughs> nah, just Boosh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> One thing I wanted to ask you, though, in one of your video parts, um, I think it was the most recent one. Kenny Anderson did the intro yeah. for you. I think it was a voicemail, yeah. obviously. But uh, mm-hmm. what, what what's the story behind that? Did you even know Kenny or? I met him a couple times. <laughs> okay. Skated a couple times. Because, I mean, to get a call from Kenny in that type of capacity of yeah. what he was saying is like yeah. mine. It's like the, yeah. the the most flattering thing. I mean, he may have been a little inebriated. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because he said some really nice things. Sure. But no, yeah, I got, I actually got a couple calls that night. Um mm. Curtis Calamonico was in uh, Tampa. Okay. And was with all those dudes. And he must have said, hey, call Scott and tell me he's a skate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, okay. This was recent. This was like, was like in four, 2014. 14 or something okay, like that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And this was about the time I was like starting to like skateboarding again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, that was, that made my, you know, last five years prior to that like it was it was one of those things where i don't know i felt so honored that he would even say nice things like that and it really sparked me to you know want to enjoy skating it's amazing i mean kenny's never even said anything like that to me before (laughs) so shit he doesn't want to come to show i know (laughs) kenny but um what so i mean you you just said that 
you started liking skateboarding again. What was it? Was there a point in time where you where you were totally just disliked it? Yeah, there was a it was a pretty deep hatred. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but it, 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 it you know it's all started. You know, I went from a lot of wins, a lot of wins in a row, and sure. you know having you know everything work right, and then then I get hurt, and then I get hurt again. And again, and it was a reoccurring injury. On oh. the same thing. It this was, was the ankle. My ankle, yeah. Mm. My front, front foot. At least you're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's your left foot, right? Or, yeah, my left foot. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you know, it got to a point where I couldn't walk over a crack without the thing tweaking. So oh, really, I remember being like walking on a plane, like through the thing or whatever, and you know, it was uneven, maybe like an inch, and I stepped on it. And rolled my ankle I was like it was that with loose with an ankle brace on seriously yeah so my you know you have the three ligaments and they were completely like shredded apart oh really? so i would skate with an ankle brace for like you know two years just hoping it wouldn't roll in that thing but it did many wow. times this was after bootleg you got hurt yeah or? This after bootleg 3000 came out okay and then probably after the four in one part mm. and then from there it was like i could not catch a break really and all the way till I was 20. Okay. And then decided I need to do something because, you know, obviously this isn't working anymore. You never even got it checked out or anything? You were just well, kind of I mean, dealing I was with told, it? yeah, like your ankle. They said when I was 18, they said, you have 60 year old ankles. Oh. I said, okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. But they said that about a lot of things in my body. I was like, okay. oh, that's fine, you know? <laughs> I, like, I'll, I'll just get, I'll power through this. Yeah. Right. You know, you know. Like I would skate. I, King of Hot Pockets, that's all I would get. Right? Oh, wow. <laughs> but as long as I landed it, we were good, you yeah. know, like, roll away. I had I had a really hard time taking care of myself. Okay. Like, because I was so addicted to skateboarding mm -hmm. that I would roll my ankle. they say, hey, you know, take a month off and yeah, then come heal. back and see me. Yeah. Well, you know, two weeks later, if I could flick a kickflip with it stinging just a little bit, I could skate. You're you know? back on the board, yeah. right. Wow. And then it got to a point where, you know, I was like, all right. Like, I, when I was 16, I broke my ankle. Okay. I went to to LA, mm. took the metro, and like not supposed to do that. My mom was like, Don't do that, you know. Oh, no. Before like even had a cell phone, you know. Take the metro, go to LA, we go to Wilshire. Mm -hmm. I tried to five oh it and on the third try I broke my ankle. Oh. And I was still in high school at the time. But after that I kind of swindled my way out of into homeschool because okay. I didn't want to walk around with crutches. But, you know, a break is almost better than a sprain because yeah. it heals sure right when you sprain your ankle you're tearing ligaments like they don't grow back right so once that started happening it was it's just kind of a downhill thing and then for me not taking care of it and and just keep thrashing it mm -hmm. like i'd roll my ankle and i'd stay off it for a month i'd go to the skate park and then roll my other ankle <laughs> oh my god so then it, it just compounded after one after another after another and you know at this time you know you have responsibilities as a professional skateboarder yes. to you know put out tricks you know, and you know get photos and stuff like that so that kind of got to my head a lot mm. so you know i had nobody really helping me of what to do you know have trainers and shit like right. they do now right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so i was kind of just doing it on my own going with the flow and then i went to the doctor and i was like look i need to do something because this isn't working Stay like it's, it's not staying together <laughs> right um and I just, you know, got referred to a specialist through my health insurance or whatever. And okay. He did basketball player ankle injuries. Okay. So you had somebody. Uh... Yeah. And, it, and I thought everything was good, but, you know, doing it on, I told him from the beginning, I was like, look, I skate, I need flexibility and all this. Mm. And, and basically after the fact, it was only bent about halfway of what it used to. So it kind of messed a lot of things up. Oh, wow. You know, when you're used to like flicking a kickflip. Now it's like completely different. You have to relearn it. Yeah. And on top of that, I got surgery and it's supposed to be like a six to nine month thing. Well, three months, um, I can walk on it mm -hmm. with the cast on. Then four months, I can take it off and start walking. Well, I took it off and started skating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. And and like not like crazy skating, I mean, just trying to do a manual or something and okay. roll around and rolled my ankle yeah. after surgery after surgery God, when oh i wasn't supposed God. to skate for another like four or five months were you doing if phys even physical therapy yeah, was, oh you were I was, okay. yeah i was okay. and you know imagine having to go back to the doctor and say hey uh, rolled my ankle i just told him it was raining and i slipped on oh, the stairs geez. and it wasn't so bad 
and it, you know, he's like, oh, you're fine. Like you're good. Okay. So what they did, they like took a tendon from my leg, drilled a hole in my ankle and tied it all around. And it's some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was the this first the, surgery that you, and then you twisted your ankle. Yeah. And then. It's always good to tell the doctor the truth. Yeah. I think so. I told him I tweaked it. And I didn't, didn't well, tell him how. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. yeah. In the rain matter. on the. Yeah. yeah. It, it was, was raining. It was, okay. oh, it was okay. raining. So you were skating in the rain. Well, I was skating at Volcom while it was raining. <laughs> at the park. So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, so, it, you know, just another, you know, thing that's thrown me back. And so you just started to hate skating in a sense. It started with the industry. <laughs> and industry like, stuff. And like, you know, like I had bought a house at this time too. Oh, wow. You were really making some money. Yeah, man. This fast. was like oh four. They weren't that expensive yet. It didn't hit the crash yet. But you know? still, yeah. I mean, you know, Van checks. Van, they were there. Yeah. <laughs> but so you know, I had responsibility with that. I had responsibility with sponsors, right. and, and you know, and a bunch of people living with me that aren't paying rent. So now I'm taking care of them. It's oh, like, wow. Yeah, it was a culmination of things that just stacked on top of each other. Sure. Which, which you know, and you take so much time off for me, who's so addicted to skateboarding, who's never done anything else right what the hell do i do yeah i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do right now what do you do to now so like woodworking it's one thing okay. it's one way to like you know clear my head okay that, that i would only be able to get through skateboarding then right? right so then this all happens and you know hiding some emotions i didn't know i had mm -hmm. through the whole time like and it started to mess with me mentally sure you know like i said going from wins 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 to loss 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 and you know, I would have like crazy panic attacks. Oh, wow. Because I didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. You know, so all this stuff happening. And I'm sure all your friends around you are skating and going out and every filming. Day. And like Trapasso is living with me. He's starting to come up, you know, and mm. they're all skating every day. And I'm just like, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to see it, you know, because I want to be there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Know? So, I mean, I started having gnarly panic attacks that I don't know where they came from. You know, right. it's like, what the hell has happened to me? And then you try to tell somebody like, ah, you're, it's just in your head. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're yeah. Looking but back at it now, you know what it was. Oh yeah. I yeah. Just, just wasn't prepared for what was happening. Right. You know, not being able to skate. It wasn't, couldn't clear my head, couldn't clear those thoughts. You yeah. Know? So it was a, so it, I don't know, it just built a lot of resentment and sure. hatred for I something I loved for so many years and it know? sucks yeah, it's, to hate it. it it did yeah it's like falling out, like breaking up with the lifelong love of your life <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure it really was like shit like what do i do now you know wow. and at this point it's like oh start getting your checks cut mm -hmm. you know things like that right which was fine like whatever you know well you see you live a certain lifestyle you're paying for you've got a house now yeah. you have responsibilities responsibilities yeah. Yeah. yeah but like when all this is going on were you looking to see what you're going to do for next year or to make kind money? of like i always wanted to be in real estate mm -hmm. my mom was a realtor that's kind of why i ended up buying a house oh because okay. she helped me you know with the process oh. so i was always interested in that and then i eventually got my license and oh wow started so that was it so you were already trying to think of maybe other things to do yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you, yeah. you weren't even trying to think of like i'm gonna just work hard get back on my board maybe get another sponsor do like re rebirth my career I think I was so mentally messed up oh. that I felt that I could never get back to what I was, you know, and, and with, and with the expectations, you know, right. uh, I wasn't trying to disappoint people by starting skating some ledges or something. I don't know. How long yeah. after you hurt your ankle did you start having those thoughts? Um, was it pretty quick or was it like, it was like right after I got surgery because that was something that, cause I walked into surgery fully fine, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. like I, it was an, Something I opted for because I knew that if I continued to keep in the long run, in the be long run, like, yeah. yeah. So oh. it just didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out. Sure. Yeah. But looking back at it now, if you really dedicated yourself to not skating, yeah. doing the physical therapy, doing that, it, it could have lined up differently, right? You were, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. With, with no alcohol involved. No, <laughs> yeah. no, that, that could Because, be I mean, you know, when you try to figure More out what pressure. to do with your time, no pressure. No like, pressure. No. Try to figure out what to do with your time. Well, yeah. what are all your 21-year-old friends doing that don't? skate like they're drinking it's partying yeah so that's what i did yeah i could see it getting on your and playing in your mind and like you said earlier like you felt like invincible yeah, yeah. like you're just yeah. nothing will stop you and yeah, yeah i know that that's feeling, what i'm saying actually. so that 180 was just like what the hell like just happened in my life where i can't do something that 
I've done my entire life. It probably so. seemed overnight as well. It probably just seemed like uh, now I'm this yeah. different dude. I can't. Yeah, that's why I was wondering like, how long it took him to feel like that. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I felt like, okay, I'll get surgery and I'll come back and, right. and everything will be back to normal, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, and just things happening one after another and then rolling my ankle after surgery. Oh. And I've rolled it many times after surgery still. Did but, you have to get surgery again? No. I never so you did. just had to like pretty much chill. Yeah. Yeah. For like, what, another year, probably? It was like almost a year. And that sucks yeah. when you're addicted to something. You're addicted to skateboarding. Oh, yeah. And now you can't even do it. And like I said before, your friends are out doing stuff. You're living with skaters. Mm -hmm. Like, you, can't, you, you, you couldn't even get away from it. No, there's no escape. No escape. <laughs> and yeah. to be at that level. Yeah. And when you come back down as a young kid, back down here, mm -hmm. it's a brain it, spray. What do you do with your time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like to for that and to know that you have to get back up here yeah. and when you try to get back up there, you think you're going to start again being up there. Yeah. You're down here. Yeah. And you're like this sucks. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then thinking about all the expectations of, yeah. of trying, you know, it was, it was a mental fuck for Yeah, you. I feel like you were you when it you were skating with not a care in the world, all you wanted to do was skate mm -hmm. and now you have all these problems and now skating, now you're thinking about what you weren't thinking about before exactly so yeah. everything that i wasn't didn't have to think about because it was clear in my head doing that now it's it's all starting to haunt me and i mean i don't even know what it was sure something that was buried a long time ago you know but that's true but yeah. then you know and we were trying tricks now you're thinking about your yeah. ankle yeah yeah mentally like stuck with that yeah like I, like I said before like cannot visualize Unless I do it in really, really slow motion in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really. Or like I start to see a tick and then pull it back. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, just mentally. Do you ever have it? Because you said you didn't really, it was over time. It kind of just got messed up, right? Yeah, I mean, one, you know, I roll it, start mm -hmm. skating, roll it, start yeah. skating, roll it. It just, I don't On know. On January 4th in 2012, I broke my ankle like fully sideways. Yeah. It was, that happened like the day went by the other day and I was like, I'm not skating today. Like let oh, yeah. that let this day live. Like <laughs> yeah. you know? it's his own holiday yeah. now. Yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah. it takes a, takes a yeah. break. January fourth. <laughs> January. I swear. I was, a, kids. I was about to go skate, and I literally, as I was walking on doors, like, what's January fourth, dude? Put my. I'm not. Yeah. No, sorry, I'm not skating today, dude. No. Nope. It's funny no. those little things. If you sprain your, I used to sprain my ankle in a certain pair of shoes. Yeah. Later, oh, yeah, would never yeah. wear those shoes again. Oh, I'd throw them away. I got really OCD about it. Oh, did like, you? Started doing weird things. Like if I'm gonna go skate the park, like if I did something before that day, the last time I went, that nothing happened, I'd do it again. And oh, really? Really, really weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like really weird shit. Madness. Yeah. Like you wanted to repeat that good day again. Yeah, you did yeah. not want to do anything <laughs> that could change that good day. Exactly. Did you wear like the same clothes? Oh, I mean, I always wear the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much, Isn't it funny how it's it's just it's it's all in your mind it at is. the end of the day. It, is. it really is. It is. I, actually, I mean, I had to go. Well, I didn't have to, but I actually went to therapy f for the panic attacks oh, because wow. I just didn't know what was going on. Yeah, and I'd call my mom at like midnight, like I'm fucking freaking out, like what's going on like no one none of my homies are no oh, you're, you're fine dude like, <laughs> yeah like just have a beer you're right? you yeah. <laughs> yeah you know and so i ended up going but i was like i'm not taking any pills none of this sure. shit like i'm down to talk like whatever it is you know yeah and i mean having a panic attack and not knowing what it is and then you get in that fight or flight mode mm. and i was just flying like let it took over me to take over me so wow so that, you know you learn like breathing and you know I don't know. She was like trying to fight the root cause of it or something. Well, but that's what it is. It's the triggering of those panic yeah, attacks yeah. too. Like what's triggering it? I don't know. This one felt like it lasted like a year. You know, Seriously. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. I lost a bunch of weight. I couldn't eat. I couldn't even roll on my board because you feel mentally off. Like gnarly. Like you can't even put a sentence together. It's weird. Like, <laughs> oh. And that's messed up too because... If something's wrong with your ankle, you go get an x-ray yeah. and they tell you what's wrong with it. Right. It's broken. It's sprained. If yeah. something's mentally going on, nobody can sit there and be like, well, this is the cause this of that. This part of your brain is This is, this is yeah. what's wrong with you. Yeah. It's it's just, yeah. I, it, that's, yeah, yeah. It's, it could be a lot. But yeah, like nowadays, um, yeah, you try to bring a panic attack on me, it's... <laughs> it's all in the past. We're good. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> that's a good, good trait to have. Yeah. 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 Panic I mean, you, you learn to... To fight it, sure, you know, and once you, you can shut them off. You can shut them off. Where was the point where you realized what was going on? You're like, oh, I'm, 
I'm done with that. I'm past. I didn't. Like, I, I never realized the point, but I remember going in there and, you know, I was 21 mm. and I can't go to the fucking bar or drink because I'm freaking out. Right. You know? So I remember telling this lady, I said, look, lady, like, I just want to go have a beer with my friends. She said, go have a beer with your friends. So I did. <laughs> and I, so, so I went to Darrell's house, had some beers and seems never went back. That was it. That, that was, was it. Kind of, really? Like, it was just her to tell me, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. It's, like, it's fine. It's almost any, like, permission. Yeah. Funny. Went, it's like someone to tell you, like, you're okay, yeah. but, like, clinically proven you're okay. You know? right. Instead of your homies being like, you're tripping, it's in your head. Did you like therapy? I, I've always wanted to try it just to see what it's all about. But I feel like back then it was kind of this weird thing. You didn't even talk about therapy stuff. Nowadays, yeah, it's yeah. kind of more open and people are oh, open to it. Like originally, I wasn't about it. No. I, th I thought it was somewhere you go and they give you a bunch of pills and, right. you know, and they fix you or something. I mean, I don't remember being like super into it. Mm -hmm. I think the breathing exercises that you learn, mm -hmm. or at least that I w was taught, like, hundred percent helps oh wow. yeah like but other than that i mean try it if you want to try it I yeah <laughs> I, I do want to try it i think it's i mean this this was literally me going there like something's wrong like i'm broken like something's wrong like what is going on were you drinking a lot during the whole time not during those times oh okay before mm -hmm. and after yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. not with friends that's interesting that you stopped drinking I could when that yeah I it's like something was like if I tried to have a beer like it would trigger something wow. which I don't know why huh but I mean it was there's a lot of triggers that you know it it all comes back to being like I can't skate what do I do you know like yeah I don't know what's going the on the love know. of your life yeah is... like I don't know how to handle this you know Man. it's like doing something your entire life taking away and yeah yeah and like you, like Kelly was you you were like on top you were on top of the world yeah. man. I feel, I feel good. You feel, I mean, <laughs> I <feel pretty> man. <laughs> yeah. Listen, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you, you know, got past all that. It's yeah, amazing. We're, we're did good. you start skating like as soon as you got, you had a beer with Darrell's house? Did you start skating right after? Or no. Did it take a while? I was kind of like just over it mm, at no. that time. Like, you know, you go through all that and you already know that he ain't going to get back to where you were. I was kind of like, you know. I would bootleg get, was already done, right? Oh yeah, oh, bootleg, yeah. bootleg would had decided to call it quits. Did you ever get like, any random offers from people afterwards, or if I did, I'd probably just said no. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't want to milk it either. Like, I don't want to take your checks, you know. Like, you I'm can't not. Skate, yeah. yeah, like I, I know I'm not up to par with where I want to be, so mm. I don't like Vans would call to renew my contract or whatever, and I would just. And not answer the phone. You know? like, <laughs> they want to renew, and you're like, no. Yeah, nah. just it, it didn't want to. The responsibility. Fake it. Didn't yeah. want to yeah, fake it. Yeah, didn't yeah. want to fake it. Didn't want to fake it. That's honorable, though, man. Yeah. It's like you know, some people. Well, now I mean, I should have milked it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like in, in my. I'm coming back, uh, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it seems like you're in a good place now, man. Yeah. You got the real estate thing yeah. going. You even yeah. got a, a drinkware company, mm -hmm. yep, right? Yep. Highland, Highland Peak. Peak. Highland Peak. Highland Peak. Yeah. Tell tell me about Highland Peak. What's what? What is this all about? Highland Peak was a brand I started with my childhood buddy, and something we wanted to create that you can, you know, have every day and use every day. Well, now I, I see everybody with the water bottles here. You got yeah. Dean with his water bottles. Yeah, and everybody's yeah. cruising around. So it was important to to find something that you know, that our community of skateboarders and athletes and, you know, other people alike. I mean, it's a universal product yeah. that anybody can use. But I think, you know, for me growing up skating and the first thing you do when you leave the house, you go to the convenience store, 7-Eleven and grab a water bottle Yep. or three. Yep. Or either one big one or three smaller ones, you know, throughout the day. Of course. And so I was like, well, why not make one that is going to, one, keep it cold all day? Because mm -hmm. by the time you get to the spot with the plastic water bottle, it's, you know, warm as hell. Yeah. yeah. And then another thing is, you know, combating against the use of single use plastics because it's, it's destroying. Uh, our... It's destroying. I mean, there's something like 300 million tons of plastic produced oh. every year, right? How Jeez. <laughs> and we're still doing it. Still doing it. It's crazy. And, and half of those are single use, whether it be like a product packaging or yeah. a water bottle. You I know? mean, just recently in Santa Monica, they outlawed straws. Finally, they yeah. have paper straws now, yeah. you know, but it took this, I mean, this is 2019. Yeah. I mean, it's 2020 now, but you know, when they stopped doing yeah. it, it's yeah. like, you know what the funniest part is though, is that the whole cup is plastic. Yeah. And they so, still, <laughs> get you have a bigger thing that's plastic yeah. that they're giving away, but they take away the straw, which is now paper. A lot of know. it's like re, 
compost paper uh, plastic. It's like yeah. I don't know. It's with the just learn how to sip out of a cup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it gets all recyclable, but at the end of the day, I think less than twenty five percent of it is actually recycled. How crazy! Oh, which God. ends up in a landfill and plastic. You know, takes several hundred years just oh, to yeah. decompose, and even right. it ends up in the oceans. In the ocean, yeah, and horrible. Well, that's amazing. Anyway. So, so yeah. you and your buddy just started. A, did you know about Drinkware, or how did you even like <laughs> go about doing? I this? I think we were just trying to find something that we liked, okay, and that we would use. Oh, well, that's every, the best business to have, and like we would use every day. But also, you know, like we started with a, a sixty-four ounce water bottle. Like I was like, this is sick. I could have this all day, and it's going to be cold all day. Like yeah. Yeah. I love it. Like let's do it. Let's let's make it. And you know, like like I said, we started out with a water bottle. Is now like you know a variety of different drinkware, right? And you know for the masses. And then I think it's important too that you know the the effects that plastic has. Like yeah, we should yeah. all be you know looking to change all this stuff. Right. Yeah, so it's amazing. I'm gonna. So you got a website, obviously. You we sell do. on the website. We do do you? Uh, I mean, uh, are you trying to get outside of skateboarding as well, or are you? Or are. do you try to? Are you just mainly online, or do you do skate shops? What, we have that? a few shops that picked it up, right? Um, but I mean, right now we're maybe doing it for three years, but we're really oh, wow. kind of ramping up now. Sick. We're doing a lot of cool things. We have some skaters that are on board that have their own colorways and stuff. Wow. Um, right now, Apple Yard, Romar, and Manny Santiago have their own. Um, we have one dropping in a few months with Lizard King. No way. Right. Is yeah. it green? I'm not purple. Gonna, I can't, I can't tell you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's his color. <laughs> green, or, yeah. green or purple. Yeah. But that, so. that'll drop in a few months. Okay. And then, and then we have... Uh, some collaborations we're working on. One that came out super sick with Diamond. That's gonna. Oh wow! Yeah, it's gonna drop later this year. That's amazing! Yeah. Wow! How can we get in on that? <laughs> yeah. Club Let's fucking, go! Come on, bro! Dude, I told you, you I got colors. some gifts for you. you yeah. to, oh! <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> wait, who was here that had it not recently? Alec. 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 That's right. Yeah. Alec Margeris. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think it's cool. Like. I mean, obviously want to get outside of skateboarding too with other athletes. I mean, like I said, it's a universal product. Anybody Mm -hmm. could use it. Uh But, you know, doing these collaborations with these skaters and companies, you know, it's kind of boosting the awareness on on the the plastic. And like I said, I I feel like I see everybody now with water jugs. Is it a jug or is it a bottle or what? Canister, jug, canister, whatever. Container. 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 Yeah. And you make different sizes of these or just one? We do. We have the 32 ounce right here. Mm -hmm. And then we make a 64 ounce. You got like little sleeves for them and everything. We have some sleeves. Dude, 64 ounce? That's a big boy. Yeah. That's big boy. Dude, dude, I mean, (laughs) if you're going, yeah, going to the Skating all day, like yeah. true, yeah, yeah, perfect. That's you know? true. That's true. Um, it's so much better than because also you know the the water starts tasting like plastic. It's, yeah, it's a whole thing. Yeah, this is all stainless steel, like okay. food grade. No, wow. no leaching. And I couldn't even imagine like, oh, let's start a water bottle company. <laughs> like, how, where where do we even well, go? We kind of started like we we like to hike, we like to go outdoors, we like to do stuff. So we were trying to find something you know, that we can build in, in an outdoor space, an okay. active and outdoor space. Right. And, and I think a water bottle we saw and kind of knew like, dope, let's do that first. That's kind of it. Let's yeah. do that first and see what we can do after. And this kind of, kind of took off. So we're running with it. I love it, bro. I love that, you know, you, you, you were, you, you went on this path of skateboarding, right? You mm-hmm. started to hate it. You got back <laughs> into it. You loved it. Mm-hmm. And here you are still fucking providing for yeah. the skating community with, yeah. you know, skate yeah. stuff. It's amazing. I mean, I look at like skateboarding taught me a lot, a yeah. lot of things, right? One that I don't want to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Number and one. one. But you're still going to work. I am. Sure. Yeah, I am. But he's loving but, what you know, he does. Yeah, so it's not yeah, work. Not sitting yeah. behind a desk. No, like, five, yeah, right? loving what you do, yeah. right? So, so, and then, and then creating something rad for something I love. Yeah. Or at least a, something usable in that space. Like, yeah. That's awesome. I love it, bro. That's amazing. And also the, the real estate stuff. Yeah. Now you said your mom got her license and then you kind of followed in, followed her. Right. Are you guys in the same case realty? Is no, that it? Or? Uh, it was with case. Oh, that's you where were? I started. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, my mom got her license and she did it for a few years and then mm. moved on. Oh, okay. But you know, that was 2004. I didn't get my license till 2013. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. Um, and then Richard Mulder, who's a buddy of mine, was with Case and Kevin Sturdivant, who run that over there. 
And I said, well, you guys do it. I'm, you guys are some skaters. Like, I'll learn from you guys. Totally. And, yeah. I'm not with them anymore, but. Okay. Yeah. Richard's amazing. He's Yeah, he's awesome. Such a good dude. <laughs> he knows well, a lot. Too. He's a smart yeah. fucking dude. He's a smart one. <laughs> I love that, dude. Kevin's awesome, too, man. Kevin is rad. Yeah. He's, dude, he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does. <laughs> So right. Was it a difficult learning process? Because here you are now. I mean, you have to deal with people, clients. You yeah. you have a whole different. Um, you know, that's hard because, like I said, I am introverted and like being like the outspoken dude trying to sell people. Right, right, right. But you know, I took a different approach, kind of for me. Like I know I have been in the process of, of buying a house. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been through it, selling a house, and <clears throat> understanding it. And I think for me, just being you know, like creating a friendship with those people, like, and not trying to sell them. That's kind of how I go about it. Yeah. You know, I, I, like, if you want to buy the house, I got you. Like, yeah. That's, that's how I do it. You know, right. you know I'm not going to say you need to sell today or you're going to, you know. The market's looking at like a 24-7 yeah. cap. And that's yeah. a, I don't yeah. know what I'm talking about, but, you know. <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I have a problem, like, talking like that to people. It's like, right, sure. it's like, look, I got you. I know what I'm talking about, and I can tell you if you, you know. It's, you almost bring it down on their level, yes, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I want to know what they want and then i can kind of guide them yeah right instead of telling them what they should do and you yeah. helped a lot of people i mean you what you helped trapasso sell his house and helped. so you've worked with skaters as well yeah mostly skaters mostly skaters yeah. that's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. so is it basically that. like skaters reaching out to you because i've heard i was talking to kev about it he's like yeah i would just go up to people's doors yeah we did a lot of that Th that seems crazy we did a lot of, of that you know it's called 100 doors a day and you just you know and you shoot the shit and ask them if they are thinking about buying or selling, which is like one of those things I can't do. Like it just, to me, that doesn't work. Well, like, that's a yeah. normal practice because I think even at my parents' house, they'd get not, you know, they'd oh, people yeah. would come to the it door. Happens, and, yeah. yeah. But not a lot of people do it. Like, oh. like people do do it, but mm -hmm. the people that do are going to, you know, they're probably either just starting for the most part because they're trying to, you know, get some business yeah. or they know that this stuff works and they know how to exact conversation to have like oh. Kevin who can go to a door and you're going to oh, yeah. sell your house with them. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what? I wasn't thinking about, but now I am. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. sell this no, place. Yeah. I don't even own the place. <laughs> you got to be good at like making friends right away. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just not that dude. Like we got to kick it a little bit. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's why skaters probably come to you. Cause they, they know. I, I want to so. sell my house. But this guy just wants to go have a beer with me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, most people show up in suits and I'm like skating down the street and <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Tim Gavin also is real estate. A yeah. lot of skaters got into the real estate game. I oh, like yeah. that. Toya. I, yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a kind of easy transition. You know, mm. You're in control of your own schedule. It's kind of like going out and getting a trick. You know, cut off someone else. <laughs> you know, you work and try and try and try, and then you get it, and then right. you want to do it again. Maybe a little better royalties on a house, though. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> that's why I mean, that's what you put in the work. But it's the same with skateboarding. Like you put in a work for a hard trick. Oh yeah. You know the accomplishment you feel that. It's yeah. the same way with real estate. You put in a lot of work, and you get a, a deal, and you help somebody, and you know, helping people is amazing. Yeah. It's a good feeling mm -hmm. to help somebody. Right. How long? I know probably every deal is different, but what, what's an average deal look like? How much work do you have to put in on it? How much, like how much, like how long does it take? Like if Raj owned a house and he wanted to sell it today, like how, what would be the process? You just list it. You Are you valuing the house? Are you putting a price on it or do you get an appraiser? Like what, what, what what's well, the deal? We would get comparables that's sold. So if you have oh. a two bedroom, two bathroom house, we'll find within like a mile radius, okay. other two bedroom, two bathroom houses that have sold. Oh. And then you'll kind of compare the, you know, the different things they have in there. And okay. they kind of put a price on it and throw it up there. Throw it up there. When you get, it's not a lot of work. It's not. Oh, okay. It's, it's, <laughs> really? It's, it, it's it's pretty easy. I mean, when, <laughs> when you get photos. into like the million Kelly's plus. Kelly's real next week. I know. Kelly's <laughs> on, yeah. When no you get into like the million me. plus homes that take a little longer to sell oh. and you got to do more marketing and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, it can, it can become time consuming, but it, if anybody says it's hard, it's not. <laughs> like, you have to know a lot of things. But if you know what you're talking about, like actually listing a house and selling it, it's not hard. Hmm. But, I mean, you have to have the knowledge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. You, know, you got to learn the biz. You, yeah. gotta, you have, to have to take your license test, right? Yeah. You got to do all that stuff. Yeah, which isn't that easy. Oh, that's hard. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff that you'll never use. You got to study. Yeah, oh, but yeah. you have to study. Interesting. So let's say someone wants to buy the house. Hmm. 
And they, how long does that process take for it to kind of go down? Like offer accepted? Yeah, like, it's like what is it, escrow or yeah, whatever? So, so the escrow, what. anywhere from 30 to 60 days, and mm. depends on things that come up. Like if appraisal doesn't come back at the price you're buying it at, you know, you'll have to renegotiate. But for the, the most of in this market where everything is ridiculously high, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, without any problems with the property, 30 days. Oh, that's so bad. Or less sometimes. If you're, if you're cash, right? Yeah. It all comes. It really all comes oh. down to the lender, right? In your finances, because if the lender can't do it, it ain't happening. Yeah. Yes. How, Kel- and how much? Kelly's, no, but I'm really thinking like, about right. his future, right? Yeah. Now. But how and how much do you take? Does uh, the realtor take from that deal? Percentage. If you're representing the buyer or the seller, you get one or the other, unless you do both. But mm-hmm. it's anywhere from like five to six percent. That's of not, the sale price. That's not bad. But if you're just representing one party, it's half of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, okay. So maybe four so, or three percent. So a million dollar house, twenty five grand. If you represent both, fifty to sixty. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, not bad. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys later, man. Thing, but, that's, but where yeah. get, that's where it gets addictive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude, but, look at these beams. <laughs> dude, the beams in this house right. is great. But look, I can every, see him now. everybody's a realtor. Like literally, you know, 10 realtors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sure. That's the, that's the game, especially in California where. Right. So you gotta get, be good at it. Did yeah. it get flooded? Pre- so like, does it feel harder to get jobs now because of that? Yeah. I mean, you're battling with 50 other people. Yeah. Get, that's why I like, I don't, I'm not going to try and sell somebody who has a hundred options, you know, yeah. but if I'm friends with you and I know you like. I got you. There and, you go. And then you, maybe the people you've worked with, the clients have probably referred you to other yeah, people. So yeah, yeah. After a while, you stay, the referrals start coming in. That's so cool. it's, you know, you can, you can have a good year, a bad year, but yeah. And if anything, you sell them a water bottle. You know, you that's, the, that's, that's the ultimate goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want a water bottle? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to buy the house? <laughs> huh. Got a water bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, in, in real estate, there's a lot of different things you can do in real estate, you know, being whether working for a lender, being an appraiser, being a, a mm. home inspector, like there's tons of different jobs. I feel like around here, I well, I, you do, do you mainly work in like Huntington Beach, Long Beach area, or I work wherever? Oh, seriously, you buy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or sell. So it's not it's, it's not in one area. It's nah. like oh, you can go up here to Malibu, or go nah. up over here to Palos Verdes, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, from you know, Winnetka to. <laughs> Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like I, like I felt a lot of people in uh, Reseda. Oh, wow. right? and that's a drive for me. But at the end of the day, well, you yeah. got to drive off. You're gonna, yeah. you yeah. go back and forth five times, and it's done. And yeah, sure, you, know, you get a check. So I mean, what? What is the average house? Maybe two hundred fifty, three, three hundred thousand. Shoot, nowadays four hundred. Man, five. you can't find a house for under five, and that's like a shitty one. I feel like nowadays people buy houses totally tear them down gut them mm-hmm. and then just remodel rebuild yeah they get it for the land if they, they know if the they can build a big house like this one down the street yeah. you know they tore that thing down and built it they know they're gonna yeah double their money yeah. oh yeah, yeah for so. sure well if you were let's say you were gonna i'm so not i don't know anything about houses and buying them if you were to buy like a the house was 500 grand yeah how much money do you have to put down to start I like guess ten percent. It was FHA three and a half percent. Three and a half percent. So what is that? Uh, like twenty something, fifteen something. Job. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you 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 can get into a house pretty cheap, but you have to have a good credit at that point, right, or something like that. Your credit or? plays a huge role. Okay. Are you trying to sell Kelly a house right now? I, I, I'm trying to. See, you know, you can get into a good house cheap right yeah. now. I might as well learn on the nine club right now how to buy a house. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. No, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I mean, there's there's no money down loans you can get but that's mm. it's certain areas yeah with income requirements and stuff like that mm. but yeah the easiest way is like fha where you only put three and a half percent kelly's got three jobs now he can play yeah <laughs> i feel like four. everybody has five. to have three jobs now yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, five jobs. i'm about to be a realtor so yeah let's uh, keep keep adding them on no yeah, it's man. cool it's cool i like i like the uh i like that Real estate's a cool game. Anybody can do it. Anybody, Kelly. Uh, I'm cool. I'd rather just, if I buy a house, I'm gonna hit you up for sure. <laughs> just connections. That's what you got to make That's with people. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, newly remodeled, nice fridge. I yeah. I don't want to be that guy. But hey, remember when Richard came on? He said he got a few people hit him up. Yeah, people did hit him up yeah. from um, from Richard's uh, good at what he does too. Yeah. Yeah. He knows a lot about real estate. He never gave us our uh, cut. 
but you know, it's all good. See, Help them out. Checks well, in the mail. Yeah. Check. <laughs> got lost in the mail. Yeah, lost in the mail for sure. Um, well, if I'm ever in the market, bro, I got you. Be the first dude I call. I got you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I'll buy a water bottle from you, dude. Yeah. I'll give you one. Win win. <laughs> win win. Perfect. I love it, bro. Uh, is there anything else we we should talk about while we're here? Is there anything else you want to bring up or? I mean, new I, stuff, old skate stuff. That's pretty much what I do these days. Just, I don't yeah, know. Just uh, skate around a little bit, sell a house. Yeah, I, I mean, I try. Yeah, I try to skate. It's Did hard. You film I, another little bit. Of the, the little 2014 part you came out with was am- I loved it, bro. It was Come fun. It was actually one of the funnest like that's times I had. I think it's the funnest part is when you skate for so long, you stop, yeah. you fall in love again. That's, that's a great feeling. That's mm-hmm. what it was. Like I fell in love, and it was, it was weird, like how it happened, like for me to like switch hating it to loving it. And I, I don't go out that much. And I think I went to a trans world premiere. Okay. I don't know which one. I don't know why I went, but. And just running into people and saying no to the homies. Yeah. And it was as random as it is, is Theodis Beasley says, Legend. And I was like And right there I was like, This is sick. Right. Like, <laughs> like, like 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 not because of that, but like because I love I should love skateboarding because yeah. of that, you know. For sure. So for it, sure. So it was it was that and then a bunch of other things that happened that like kinda turned it for me. Yeah. And too when you filmed the the part in two thousand fourteen there was no expectations. Uh-huh. There was nobody breathing down your throat, like your neck. And, you know, it's just, you just could go uh-huh. out and have fun. Well, it was my bootleg team manager who, yeah. we were just having fun. Exactly. Like, go out and skate. That's the best part, yeah. man. Yeah. We all can get caught up in the whole, because uh, everybody always says, oh, skateboarding, you know, it's, it, oh, it's not a job and this and that. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it can become yeah. work, yeah. you know? And when you can get, when you can release yourself of that, some people thrive in that kind of environment. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. people out there nowadays that just thrive. They feed off it. You know, feed off I'm of like, it. Yeah, complete opposite of that. Street <laughs> leagues and all this yeah. shit, you know, Olympics and the, the, they're, they're. I think that too, like, up. I mean, the money they throw out now. Mm-hmm. At the street league, I probably would have skated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but for the most, yeah, for the most part, well. maybe on like the the one tries, you know. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I can't put a line together, man. Like, well, well did you ever skate contests at all? No, no, I skated two contests, like a Boost Mobile contest, super <laughs> random in Vegas. Okay, I don't know why. <laughs> and one other one, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Huh. But I've been to Tampa. Like it's fun to go there. Sure, <laughs> Tampa's fun. Yeah, for sure. Man, this is great, bro. I, I wish you the best of success in real estate and the bottle company, Thank dude. You. Thank you. Where did the name come from? We kind of came up with something where we want to, you know, do our best and kind of be at your highest peak, and and Highland Peak just flows a little better. I like that name because it definitely can transcend skateboard. I can see this yeah. in REI. Yeah. I can yes. see this in different places. Totally. It's a Highland Peak. You right. got the good logo for it. It's not, you didn't like, you know, this sucks to say, but you didn't pigeonhole yourself in the skate world. No. You know, you really were thinking ahead and hey, we, this is, this could go yeah. global. You so, know? so for me personally, I didn't at first want to bring it into skateboarding. No. Because I wasn't, I didn't want to, make people like it you know what i mean <laughs> sure yeah. Yeah, like, yeah so my partner nisai i kind of we kind of made a decision to bring it to skateboarding and i kind of let him do it mm-hmm. because not everybody knows him okay. and and i mean he knows a lot of people we sure. grew up together whatever, but i think it, it was important for to get real feedback so I, I kind of let him take the reins oh, with it. Interesting. Like to huh. get Alpiard, like I know Alpiard, we skated together. He never met him. Yeah, yeah. But he had reached out to him through Instagram, like, hey, and completely made super best friends together. And it's now, amazing. like, and, you know, so I, I think it was important for that to do it that way. Yeah, and it's kind of a uh, a test for yourself, kind of like, hey, let's I, I, let's see speech for itself. Let's see if people right. like this, right. you know, right. without having your name exactly. attached to exactly. it. I like that. Oh yeah, that was important. I didn't want people just to like it because right. right. they either knew me or liked me. You know, you should get switch heel front nose wrapped around. The oh, thing, dude, <laughs> yeah. that man. Was, I would rock that hard, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I have the poster of it actually. Really? Yeah. They put it up at, at trade show that year and somehow I 
they sent it to me. So I got That's it. That's so yeah. sick. That's amazing. I'm just waiting for myself to buy a house so I could frame it or something. Yeah. <laughs> How big is it? Just like it's a like, good size poster? Yeah, maybe like five feet by three feet or something. Damn, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Yeah. I thought Kelly's going to suggest switch heel, switch Manny. I mean, switch flip, switch Manny. Switch flip, oh, switch yeah. Manny. Yeah. yeah. We could do that I mean, too. We have we'll a just get like an LCD that. screen all the way oh. around and you just go in circles this around. This is the new tech, man. They got the, the ones that bend. Yep. You could have the first just, LCD. Oh, it's you going in circles. You around. could have the first <laughs> cell, <laughs> cell phone water bottle. You know, we program this, it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm thirsty. It's amazing. It's always splashing around. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be this guy, but you did mention that you have presents. I do have <laughs> some gifts for do you that we had oh my specially God. made for this really? occasion. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. We have presents for you too. Don't worry. We'll exchange presents. This is looks. So we made we made a few. Okay. That's some. Oh, I models. like this. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, Look at that. That's proper. This is the Apple Yard one. That's the Apple. What do you mean Apple Yard that, one? That's his colorway. Oh, this is colorway. Wow. Oh, team colorway. The red and the. Oh, wow. Sick. Look at that. We got you some big boys, too. Oh. Dude! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> big dog. And the flat back. What? Oh, I, love, well, I like that. <laughs> I like that black one, bro. This is insane. Let's see that thing. And I got some, oh. some more in the car for you. You got guys. some more in the car, dude. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing, bro. Sick. You got the color right with we the We just nine picked those up this morning. That's wow. amazing, yeah. dude. Look at this Highland Peak. Roger's looking at that. Put his beer in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep that oh, Stella in here. Yeah, sixty-four ounces. <laughs> Stella. That's amazing, bro. What's the best way to clean these? Yeah, hot water and soap. Yeah. You just yeah. and like a bottle brush or something. I usually just shake oh, mine up. A bottle yeah. brush. I do. I haven't even washed this thing in a year, but probably should. But you can, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't, me, not dishwasher, but you can throw the cap in the dishwasher top rack. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to tell you something, and I'm not just saying this because you're sitting here and this has our logo on it and it looks <laughs> yeah. beautiful. It's fucking. This it's is well made. really well made. Yeah. I mean, the cap Thank is you. amazing. Thank it's you. it's a very, uh, and I like this bottom rubber yeah. piece right here. Does this come off? Or it comes off, yeah. If oh, you look it? on the bottom, uh, for every signature model, they have their own quote, and, and Apple Yards is pretty cool. He's got his own little oh, design really? on there, yeah. See, that's a, oh, yeah. Oh, you can take it off. Oh, it's sick. Yeah. Be the positive vibe in your tribe. Mark <laughs> Apple Yard. Yeah. Words to live by right there. <laughs> I love that, bro. Or, or a lot of people use them as like doggy bulbs. Bulls on a hike or something. Oh, oh. Yeah. that's actually perfect for that. Yeah. Damn. Multi use. There's dude. a, a, a little hole, <laughs> yeah. but you put a piece of tape over that. That's just so you can you put it on easier. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Awesome, dude. That's fucking rad. Did you know that people were gonna do that, or did that you just discover that uh, randomly? Afterwards. You did? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like we we've seen it before. Start marketing it that way. But after we had already decided to do it, and we're like, oh, sick. That's rad. Yeah, no, we're definitely throwwing that in yeah, the market. Throw a little, okay. <laughs> throw a on there. Yeah. That's incredible, bro. Listen, I you know, I we should do a collab, bro. I mean, well, I know you already got these made, but you we should do something. Are you know? sick? We already got the logo done up, man. Man. I've got my you could see my switch flip manny going right around that <laughs> fucking thing, you know? That one for sure. I think the people need the nine club Highland Peak collab. I think so. Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. Okay, we'll talk about that we'll, after the show, man. Yeah, we'll we'll, get, we'll uh, Let's discuss everything now. Because, dude, I have to have um, the flip guys look at the contract. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Raj, don't touch mine, okay? These are for me. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, Kelly doesn't get any. Kelly got the red one. We got more in the car. You oh, got more in the car. Oh, got more he's helping me with my own personal. Ones. Oh, yeah, 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 one. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. He wanted this one, but he wanted the S logo on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be tight too. No, dude, thank you. This is these are incredible, bro. Yeah, I'm I love this I'm one. Stuck, you like it? That's a good one. That's a colorway, Raj. White and orange, That's red. Clean. Yeah. Like that, got the orange perfectly. Fucking look at that. That's the hard thing <laughs> with our logo. It's like. When people just do it on their own or whatever, like they always yeah. they aren't wrong. Even if we, I uh, send the company, the like if we're down. gonna make something and I send them the pan, it's, the orange comes back all weird. It's it was like, yellow at first. Was, I'm not gonna lie. Was it? But 
our yeah. signs. Yeah, yeah. All. yeah, it's weird. But we it's had weird. our designer switch it up. And dude, thank you for this. This is incredible, yeah. man. Highland Peak. These will be used big, for sure. Big fan. See that? Yeah, that's the thing too. They're useful. I, yeah, they're gonna they're use useful. Them, you know? Trust me, dude. Roger's already thinking about going to get a twenty-four pack of yeah. Stella and filling it up. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You buy one, you get one that lasts forever. Yeah. yeah. How many beers are in sixty-four ounces, Raj? What what's a regular beer? Twelve. Twelve ounce? ounces. Twelve, ounce. Twelve times. What it was? You can fit about five and a half beers. Five right? and a half yeah. beers. Yeah. Yeah. That's a skate yeah. session for Raj. That really is. That's to the <laughs> team. That's to the team. <laughs> uh, love it. Man. Just a couple hours at the curb. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can, can we give you some nine club stuff, please, to oh. take home? Man? Hell yeah. We're kind of <laughs> we're kind of running low. We got to do some more ordering and stuff like that. But uh, let's fill the shelves with these. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, bro. Kelly, will you yep. please grab... Um, yeah, you do. What, what size do you wear, bro? Uh, XL. XL? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you got go, XLs in there? <laughs> yeah, he'll go grab some stuff, and then you could always go in the warehouse after the show. And All right. All change right. Exchange everything, bro. The thing that I love about the Highland Peak is you can go from drinkware to like maybe outerwear. And yeah. stuff like that. Oh, you yeah. could really full funny, outdoors yeah. company. Funny you say that. No. Oh yeah, you see, <laughs> we, we have a lot of things in the works that that will be filtration push, devices. Push it, yeah. Listen, a lot this of is going to be huge. But thank you, Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be huge, bro. We'd like to invest. <laughs> We'd like to invest, bro. I'll get you the paperwork. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the flip guys look at it. <laughs> First of all, dude, Scott. Hey, thank you so much for pleasure, having me. Yeah, dude. This fun. is amazing, man. Scott Kane, legend, legend. Yeah. <laughs> Straight Gimbus up, dude. Beasley was right. <laughs> yep. Legend, man. Here's a uh, Nine Club New Era beanie. We just got these in, man. Pretty hey. dope. Look New Era, that. too. Wow. Oh, yeah. Quality, quality beanie. Rad. Here is a Nine Club shirt. Kelly grabbed a large, but we will exchange that for an XL for you. All right. And also a Nine Club crew neck embroidered crew neck. Word. <laughs> I always say the crew neck before the embroider, but it's a, a embroidered after. crew yeah. neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, if this you're not a, if you're not a blue guy, we'll go in the warehouse. Swap it out. We'll swap uh, it out with what we have. Do I we like, have any more left? I think we blue? have black and gray ones. I love blue. Oh, okay, blue. I'm going with blue, guys. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, and uh, for, oh on, man, I can't. Uh, Crab yes. Muska mug. Look this at that. Is dope. Dude, why don't you just put that on the huge one? That'd yeah. be hilarious. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> that would be incredible. Done. See, With that white? <laughs> Done. See what Kelly, sometimes he brings good stuff to the table. Yeah. And you can laser etch the crop. <laughs> oh, my Done. God. To show Listen, the... Uh, this is yeah. a... Uh, <laughs> Boom. We're that, mocking it up tonight. That graphic was made by uh, Goddess a good Graphics. Goddess Graphics. Ooh. She... Uh, did that graphic for me. Dora. Dora. I love it. It's yeah. sick. She's amazing. And uh, listen, I know you got a wifey and everything. Of course, Kelly grabbed his own candle for you. But uh, <laughs> here's a K Fatty uh, <laughs> Cinnabon. Cinnabon flavor. Oh, she uh, that. Scent, she rather. Uh, Cinnabon scent Probably. candle. This is a 100th like Acre and a Nine Club collab That's right sick. there. Rob Brink made those candles for us. She will enjoy this. Yes. I hope she likes uh, cinnamon flavor, Cinnabon. Ooh. It's good, right? Ooh, a little spicy, a little, yeah. little, little uh, cinnamony. Holiday. Holiday-ish. That's year-round, dude. That just makes you feel good <laughs> year-round. That's man. what Nine Club candles do. I love it, man. I can't <laughs> wait for the new part to drop. <laughs> Coming soon. Scott uh, Kane, 2020. Working on it. I love it, bro. I would like to see like this a compilation of like all the footage you've had. You know, like that'd be cool. Like Ma Manolo's tapes, dudes. Mm -hmm. Manolo's my boy. Let's. I want to see Manolo do that. That'd I, be sick. I want to see man. a full real estate escape video. Ooh. Oh, that would be sick. Yes. Montoya, Espinosa. Oh wow, Tim wow. Gavin. Yo, that would be an epic video. Mulder. <laughs> right? Dude, that, that would be, be really super epic. sick. Nice. The real escape. Real escape. <laughs> yeah. Dude, come on. <laughs> Everyone get three clips. That's three amazing. Clips. Yeah. There is a there is a, a montage of you online though. It's like fucking. It's I don't know what it is, but it's it's a, it's it's a, a remix. Oh, uh, it's maybe like a remix. Krolik put it together. Oh, oh maybe classic clips. clips or something. Yeah, classic, yeah. classic clips. Yeah, yeah. He, he has like a lot of the footy. It's amazing. I don't know how he ended up with it. He likes 
stole all the filmers uh <laughs> hard drives and put it on there we worked at 401 he was <laughs> yeah. gathering all the tapes <laughs> love yeah. that man yeah. no listen dude you've uh super talented skateboarder bro big Thank fan you. Thank big you. fan bootleg likewise 3000 man it's incredible bro <laughs> mm-hmm. favorite i mean going back and watching your old like today i watched baker i mean <laughs> you watch bootleg come on dude <laughs> <laughs> I can't get past cool. it. I watched they the were once together. They were once together. Baker together. 4 is right. great, dude. Baker 4 is great. Yeah. Good part. No, I went back and watched a bootleg 3000 part. I mean, t- b- mind blowing the shits <laughs> you were doing back then. Dude, even it's crazy. Kipo front nose blunt. Yeah. I know. I was like, I, I love what you brought the shock value to the table, dude. <laughs> like you said, we look, opened up the magazine. You, we were just strolling through the magazine. <laughs> And then you open that page, and every person that saw that that skated was oh, like, yeah. "Holy <laughs> shit!" I remember back then people were like, "Oh, Scott Kane did this," and they're like, "Who the fuck is Scott Kane?" <laughs> yeah, Scott- I had a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Scott Kane guy? It went from, who the fuck is this to where the fuck is he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> but a uh, kickflip nose blind was a. Uh, I had to learn that because P Rod and Jeremy Rogers came to El Dorado, oh. and, oh. up and murdered it. I said I got to learn something. <laughs> while, oh, while, while they, they were there. there, while they were there, and I was like, I got to learn something. They probably don't know. They were just skating and killing it, and I was like, I think I learned switch front nose blunts. Okay, oh. and then I said maybe I can kick flip over this rail to nose blunt. So that's why I learned it. <laughs> wow, this was, are you talking about the little rail? The we're little rail, about? The little yeah, one that's yeah. Right down the bank. Yep. Yeah. So I was just I wasn't upset that they were killing it, but I was like, I want to kill it, it too. Fed you. I want to kill it too. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're on your home turf too. You just like they came to El Dorado and straight murdered it. <laughs> Were they skating that rail? P Rod was. Yeah. Jeremy was just jumping off the big drops like oh yeah, yeah. flipping. <laughs> but P Rod rolls up and switch flip front boards it like second try. Wow. Like going slow too, and that that just shows how much control you have. Mm, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like this. Man, I got to learn something now. It's what? not like you were showing off. You were just being, no, yeah, you were no, being, no, no, no. E- 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 um, it's almost like you were being competitive, but also just wanting to like wanting step to up the, the game. Table. It was yeah. driving you. Like it yeah. was a, I don't know the word for it, but. Uh, I just want uh, to step the game up and show them, hey, I'm fucking. This like is my do park. My, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit inside. I was like, you're in my park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to do show it. some respect. Yeah. But at that point, the, they knew who you were at that point, though? Yeah, yeah. We okay. knew each other. Oh, but like, gotcha. not like homie, homie, but, right. you know, yeah. from different well, sides of the... Was it City Stars, Paul? This girl, oh, he Paul. was already on. This girl, Paul? He was already on. Yeah. Okay. He was skating with Jeremy at that yeah. point. Oh, yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. my bad. Yeah. They're, Those two would roll around. Evan had brought him. Did you see, like, Nick and Julian... Yeah, they, they were they were the the little grums or grimes of the Eldo. Oh, really? Right? Yeah, and they that's where they learned too. They killed it. That's amazing. Well, um, Julian, not Julian, but Nick. Nick. Oh, yeah. He skated Cerritos Park, which was not too far, but then he would come to Eldo and kill it. But little Juju was was just little baby with the best kickflips ever. Yeah, crazy, <laughs> yeah. And Romar wow. too came. From- Romar too. Yeah, he was. Yeah. they were all little crew. Oh. Romar back when he had like bleached hair, like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> but they all like just ripped. You know who else skated that part? I mean, I don't know if he skates that much anymore. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Jocelyn. Yeah. That was, that's like his favorite. He was destroying that part. That's when I stopped going. I was like, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you tell him to do something, like, hey, go backside 360 flip off this drop first. Go. All right, later. Hey, I'm done. That, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was a park you had to like. You had to be a local was, to understand that park. It was different. Yeah. Like Andrew Allen used to come over and try to skate that park. And he's like, what the hell? How do you guys <laughs> skate this place? Oh, yeah. Or like anybody that's not from there. You're like, what's yeah. like, this place sucks. There was like some ledges up top. I was like, oh, I'll skate yeah. those. Yeah. But other than that, like. Yeah. Is that the park that uh, Chris Joslin had his little sponsor me video when he was a little Grom? Probably. Yeah. I think he had. There, I don't know, but at least like four years ago he was posting clips there every single oh, day okay. every oh, single yeah. day got you. okay yeah, until he I moved know. he was yeah, he, yeah. That was, he was on that yeah. what, what was the park i saw a clip on your instagram there was like a tiny little rail that was like it might have been the rail the small rail right when you walked in maybe at elda he'd like you cab back nose wanted it oh no that was cerritos park oh, that's cerritos park that one had opened up before that so that was the other rail that i 
started to learn things. Oh, so cab back tiny, up. tiny rail, and then the tiny long rail. Yeah, so okay. it was like a three stair and then a seven stair. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh <my laughs> so sick. I love it, bro. Hey, listen, much success in the future for Thank the real you. estate, the Highland Peak. Thank Let's you. talk more about that. It's a <laughs> yeah, man. I love it, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah. No, I'm like into this, man. Yeah. I'm stoked you like it, man. I'm going to take that this thing off and have Larry drink out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Roger yeah. could feed Basil with it. Or yeah, put a little rabbit food in there. Yeah, he'd love it. He actually probably would eat the rubber, though. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, loves that shit. Seriously, dude, thank you so much for coming. Thank bro. you. This yeah. is amazing. I'm man. honored to be here. This is dope. Thank you, bro. Scott Kane in the building. Yeah. New part, 2020. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Keep saying it. I just want to see more. That's all. I can get maybe one trick. Okay. Can I get by with that? Nollywood heel front nose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>